I just looked at my wrist, I got time today. Ride with the mob, hum do our law. She can get gangster, we can keep it cordial. How you wanna go back? How you wanna go? Get I'm addicted to it, I know I am. I know I am. I'm addicted to it, I am. It's the mob, so you gotta get initiated. If you a mob, then you gotta make an issue. Pay some but y'all think by doing all this shit behind the scenes and gathering together that y'all was gonna get rid of me and somebody fucking lied. Cause y'all not. Y'all sent somebody before. And then every time y'all try it, everyone that tries it learns the hard way. I'm chosen. I'm a chosen one. I'm not going nowhere until I fuck I want to go somewhere. Period. 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 Be like, yo, what the fuck is it gonna take to get rid of this bitch? You can't get rid of me, bitch. <laughs> What is it? Yeah, we finna set it off in this mother. Hey y'all. Close it already. Dang, I should go get my um computer. Man, oh man. Y'all, I said I was gonna do self-care, but I should change the name of this title. Because I ain't gonna have time because I gotta drive tonight. I ain't gonna have time. You don't want me to talk, game? Do you? What? I can't talk to her. What? What? What did I do? Mm -mm. Hold on. We not doing self care, y'all. Cause um it's too 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 much happening. Too much has happened. We not doing self care, but we gonna have a um. We not doing self care. Sorry, I don't got time. We can do. We have to do it tomorrow. When I come come back. I I didn't think about I. I needed to make um. I needed to. Make me some like I'm just basically taking some leftovers. Um, I'm just basically taking some leftovers. Um, versus that little taco meat, I was about to make some salmon and stuff, but because Dylan left, scold if you say. Um, but yeah, Dylan left, so oh, let me show y'all what I did. I can show y'all this. What I got so far, I don't know if this I'm in but I think I am. I think I am. I think I am. Let me show you what I did so far. Let me show you what I'm going to do. Okay. I took Kimmy's advice. And I'm thinking I like this, but I don't know if it's too much black or if I'm going to try to look for a clear one. Let me see. Okay, so remember I opened up the stuff yesterday? So I'm put the little, I'm not gonna keep the, those cups there, but those glasses there, but those are the espresso shots for the Ninja. I'm gonna I'm figure out what I'm gonna do with these little pods because they have like real cute ones. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with those. The Ninja's there, I'm gonna get, I gotta get me some um flavors. And I like that because, and then they have like the labels. It comes with labels. But I'm probably going to find me some salted caramel. 
French vanilla. I don't know. Hey, Nika. But, girl, let me tell you my favorite thing that I just got from Amazon. And that is, girl, this right here. This, this, girl, girl, girl. But I, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to put right, right there. If I'm going to keep that there, I'll put like a, the vase that I had before. The vase. But y'all see where I'm going with it? Y'all see where I'm going with it? You get where I'm going? And then, so I moved all of this stuff out of here. Um, out of this cabinet. So I'm going to make this cabinet like I'm going to put the espresso shots. I'm going to get some more glasses. Some stuff is in the dishwasher because I wasn't like prepared to show y'all. But I'm going to make this part like where everything goes. See, like that stuff, I, I, that's those like dishes. But I'm going to make this like a little coffee station right here. I got that idea from our girl, Kimmy. Because I'm trying to like be like minimal. Like not have a whole bunch of stuff. Just have just. But I think I'm going to keep it like this. I'm going to figure out. Get some more glasses. I got some glasses in mind that I want to get from Amazon. But yeah. And then look at this one, y'all. Look how they duped me. I got to take this back to Amazon. Look how they duped me. Look. Oh. Wait, hold on. What the hell? Did it get small? Y'all, I swear it got smaller. What the? What the hell? Maybe that was the right ball. I got, now I got to go to find a third ball. Where's the other ball at? Hold on. What the hell? Y'all, I swear yesterday it went. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> I thought I had to take it back. I thought they had duped me. Girl, I thought they had duped me. I thought they had duped me. But that one, I guess it is big enough. Okay, so now I got the last one. Boop. Boop. Y'all see that? So, this is my coffee grounds. This is my collagen. This is going to be my um my um sweetener. I don't know what I'm putting here. I might put like the some sticks, you know, the coffee mixers. I might put that in here. This little thing, I had, I've had that for quite some time. Remember when I said I was going to do a cooking channel? And then here's my espresso shot. I have another one. I didn't bring it downstairs. I'm going to get some more cups, glasses, and I need some more um, big faced, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, I mean, wine glasses like this. Like that. So do y'all like this so far? Do y'all think I should keep this? Is this a yes or a no? Should I keep it with two up there? I'm going to put some other stuff up here, but I feel like two could be good. And then something right here. A flower me. I don't know. But I'm going to set up the little station right here. Yeah. Y'all like it like that? Is this a keeper? Okay, now something else. Hold on, something up. I gotta find. I I'm trying to figure out what I gotta put something right there. Like this that'd be, that'd be irritating me. And something right here. But I also got these. Y'all like that? I was gonna take those back at first. But I think I'm going to keep them. <sighs> I'm trying to get rid of stuff, but still not make it so cluttered. cluttered. Y'all get what I'm saying? I'm trying not to clutter. I'm trying to declutter my life. So, with that being said, um, oh girl, y'all want to see what I'm making myself for lunch? All right, well, let me show y'all. I'm making Dylan. I'll show y'all what I made. 
Let me show y'all what I made. But before I get messy, let me show y'all how I, I am as a mom about to come out. So, Dylan, if Dylan so happens to come home before me, your boy has his your boy has his, his meal already prepped just in case your boy just in case anything happens he gets home but for me he has his after school right after school snack which is the chicken hot chicken corn dog with the you know not the fries got him some ketchup on the side and if it gets really bad and I'm not home <laughs> I don't gotta worry about nobody cooking for my boy. Boom. He has the this is the um leftover uh lasagna. So that's if that's a worst this is like worst case scenario. Just so so he is his din din can be on table. Because he didn't eat that for leftovers yet. So his din din could be on ten. Bro. Everything is prepared, okay? If anything, if worse comes to worse, if I don't make it. Nobody gotta take a nobody gotta get my in my child nothing to eat. Nobody gotta cook them nothing. It's already done. Then then it's done, okay? Them fries gonna be stale by tomorrow. No, he like them like that. I put them in the air fryer anyway. The fries ain't going to be still by tomorrow. And then I think he brought tired of eating. So I got me some low carb uh, tortilla and the rest of the, that damn, um, what is it called? The rest of the damn, um, what is it called? The rest of the little taco meat. Definitely before I get messy. So I'm taking that with me. Boom. I'll take this with me. Take a little couple snacky snacks. And some popcorn. Popcorn. So I got me some snacks just in case I don't make it. I got me some breakfast. So much. Bye. Breakfast in. I should be home. But yeah, this gonna be what I do. Put some popcorn in there. What's up, Daisy? So that's kind of what I'm making to prep. You love the be the snack? Yeah. I got a bunch of they go my they got my baby. Ooh, I, ooh. Hey Nika. Hi Nika. Hey girl. Listen. I was gonna ask you, have you been on Z Gallery? Uh, no, I haven't. What they got? No, listen, so many of our stores are closing. So, Ooh. yes. So, online, they've been having, like, this dumbass sale. Like, oh, like 50%, like, it's already 50% off, right? But on top of that, it's, like, 60% off. Oh, damn. Oh, I and know they got Oh, my God. I have been shopping on her the last couple. Like, they had this, like, um, living room set that I wanted. Mm-hmm. And at Dang. first it was like like regular price, it was like almost 10k. Mm -hmm. But it went all the way down to three thousand. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, yes. and, and, <coughs> um so it's like a must. Hell yeah. I'm gonna be on there and see, I don't know why you I'm glad you told me that because the be I mean, cause I don't really need like furniture like that, but if they did have something like super No, like, you know they have the good knickknacks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They got I was gonna say, yeah, they got the knickknacks. 
They got the good knickknacks. The good yeah. knickknacks. Yeah. Yeah. So it's and nothing. I, else. I like. I still need little stuff like my um my like my little office room. Oh, they might have a good desk in there. Uh huh. Yes. Ooh, it's bing desk in there. That's what I'm saying. The 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 sectional that we were looking at, you know, you could put it together and make it like a lounge like little area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like nine K. Mm -hmm. Tax, I think it came out to like ten something. But mm -hmm. with it being on sale, like now, yeah, we just got it for like three thousand or something. Oh, that, that 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 type of shit is real bad, especially yes. when you know you we, have to, share. We, got, we have to share. We have to share yeah. these type of yes. things. Yeah. Oh my god. god. Especially when I move, shit. I done. Yes. Yeah. I'm over here like, ooh, I probably could have found a different thing. But this little thing, I got that stand, this little stand from Amazon, but it don't look cheap or nothing. I think it was $25 or $30. Maybe it was $39. I don't, I don't remember, but I know it was it wasn't that expensive, but it, it didn't look so blacky black because everything in here is white, but it ain't, but it's not the the um I love white though. White is so crisp and clean. Me too. Like, that's what I wanted to do white everything. It's, but it's hard to find like stuff that's white and I like little gadgets and shit. Like when you like gadgets, it's hard. I promise you it took me 10 years to get my husband used to the white. Like I, I like yeah. being on like white sheets and white covers and stuff. Oh yeah, like yeah, yeah. Days. Yeah. So it literally have taken me a long time to get him used to it because he's such a you know, you know how men are. They be like you can see body shit. No, you can't. Yeah, I like white. I like white. I'm definitely, I don't even, once I started getting white sheets, I don't like no other sheets no more. It's just something about it, though. You it's know? something about it. You getting that thing, it just make, it, it give you hotel oh room. It, it give it, it like, you so like, much life. So much life. Yeah, even with, I, I started out with white, just using all white towels and stuff, but mm -hmm. When I started doing the white um sheets, it, like I, now and it like solved my problem of like sheets. Like I don't even need no other sheets, like because I know all I want is white. Thank you, Tanisha. Tanisha, is it Tanisha? Yes. Tanisha. Tanisha. Thank you, boo. Yeah, congratulations. I ain't even. I heard people say congratulations to you one day, and I'm like, that they keep saying congratulations for baby. That epic motherfucking that 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 you know shit you supposed to film. Yes. We had about. We had about Two, three photographers, videographers, you know, some shit sure. to capture. You know, that's, that's nice. That's that's nice. No, yeah. it was so it was so nice. It was so amazing. So, you know, I'm still good. I'm still floating, honey. I'm floating. So, good. That's good. Yeah. I'm uh we've been together like 19, 20 years. So, you know. Okay. And, and you know, like this this is the craziest part that we get, right? People be mm -hmm. like, Well, damn, about time. Um, um, well, yeah, if we did it before now, we'd probably been divorced twice. We've yeah. probably been divorced, remarried, and divorced again. You get what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. um don't do it when other people think it's it don't don't do it when other people think it's time. Do it in perfect timing. You know what I mean? So right. like yeah. nah, when yeah. everything is so everything is good. I'm so scared to like get married. Like that's one of my first it was me having a baby. I had a baby not married, so that's cool. like the baby part that I got over that part. Okay, cool. But the um the marriage thing, I could probably have three more kids, but not uh marriage is the ooh, ooh, my God. But you know what it is okay, so let me tell you what I've what, what I've learned over the years. Um mm -hmm. when when you marry your best friend, you have to separate the you have to separate the three. You have to learn how to be best friend. Yeah. Own girl and then wife, you know what I mean. And sometimes we get caught up and just want to be girlfriend and you know mm -hmm. want to be treated like that that we don't understand that they need us in so many other areas. So, um, I was like, okay, it's time for us to get out of this cool as fuck mode, like because we cool, you know what I mean? Like we super cool. So I was like, okay, so it's time for us to get to the to the other stage. And I think neither one of us was just like in a rush to do it. We weren't like. Oh my God, we gotta get married, or else, like, no, we was like, damn, 224 24 seems like a cute ass date. Let's do it, you know? So it's supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen then when you just, when it's effortlessly, you know? So 
always encourage people be friends be friends be friends before anything because you learn a lot and and learn how to be a friend without a motive you know what i'm saying and yeah. not not be a friend just trying to figure out something about a man mm. because if you be a if you be a genuine friend they'll tell you everything right you know what i'm saying with no judgment so just right. be friends just be friends yeah. and learn how to separate the friends from your feelings. And, and you Bro, probably, the you motive, know. the motive part is is I can I can agree to that because I mm -hmm. I literally go into any situation with absolutely no motive. Like I it, like, and I don't understand. But at the same time, I I feel a slight bit immature because of that. Like when I see oh, people, I totally appreciate it, y'all. When they I'm like, sorry, date, I'm sorry, no, when people, you know how people date for marriage. Like I think, like mm -hmm. okay. I get that, but I when I date, I date without a purpose, and some and and I don't know if that's because I like I be having my guard up, like I ain't expecting no relationship, I'm not expecting no no nothing, I'm not expecting absolutely nothing, nothing. I don't know what's gonna happen with, between well, you. And let me ask you this: Do you agree with this with this term? Like, um, society has made marriage such a cliche thing. That mm -hmm. it 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 frightens the men to where they feel like, oh, okay, if I don't marry her, then you know what I mean. Yeah, so it's I like, it's so it's like, it's like, it's like this, right? Um, I don't know. It's just supposed to happen. It ain't supposed to be. Listen, I've Boy. I've had no. Listen, Mink, I've had three wedding days. You understand? And so much, so much happened within those times that we just realized that. It wasn't even the fact that we weren't ready because we've really been living like husband and wife. It was it was more so us trying to uh, please everybody else and what they seen like, damn, y'all been together so long. Y'all got a kid. Y'all, you know, and y'all just shacking. It was like, OK, Mitchell Shack, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, so it's like once you do it, when is like take society out your out your out your household, out your relationship, out of anything. Society will fuck your shit up society will fuck your shit up like just just roll with the punches but um i think society has made it such a cliche thing like oh you have to be married in order to be respected and oh that's not how it goes because most right. of them people most yeah. of them people don't last 90 days and they be headed for divorce yeah and some women like they look at it like almost like usually most of the time every married women though they'll be like yeah, because she ain't even married or he ain't even married her. Like, all of that, like, or making you feel like you're not a woman because you don't have a husband. You know what I'm saying? Like, or you're less... All along, all along you've been a wife. Like, mm -hmm. we, like, women, like, women, I, I don't, I just don't know. And maybe that's, maybe that's what has helped me. I don't know a lot of women that don't look at themselves as wife material and, and don't interact as a wife. And to the point where they find out they've been a wife to their boyfriend. You get what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. it's when you take the judgment out of it because people make you feel like that's the worst thing you could ever possibly do. Like, oh, but you've been playing this role for so long when all along we, we come prepared and ready. You know what I mean? We know from the first whatever whether we want to make you our husband or not you know what i mean so it's like bitch, please my shit was amazing i'm still on a cloud i swear <laughs> to you i'm still on a motherfucking cloud and i and i don't even want to come down so i don't give a damn like so do you think y'all gonna do that you know how like in 10 years you re like get remarried do you see yourself doing that um probably every five years yeah i'm, I'm a girly girl Okay. Yeah, and I like I like beautiful days, and he knows that. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. yeah, probably every five years, I'll probably have the biggest fucking celebration ever because this was a long road. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and now we've gotten to the point where we can celebrate that shit. We're gonna celebrate that shit whether it's five or ten people that are with us, or just me. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And we took society out of our relationship. Yeah, that's good. I'm yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm okay, definitely I appreciate it. Girl, nice. you know, I always told you the first time I saw your video, you motivated me to be more like, I was like, uh uh. Girl. Yo, Mink, the first time we had a conversation, she was like, first of all, I love when you start stuttering shit. You was like, uh, uh, Queenica, I don't know, uh, if, uh, <laughs> I was laughing so hard. You were I like, I don't know, uh, you if you like me, but uh, I was like, <laughs> but I don't have no problem with y'all. Thank yeah, you, Cookie. Because, like, you know, I don't be knowing, but I be like, listen, I was watching your video. Girl, I need to clean up. 
<laughs> no, preparing for it. Prepare <laughs> like people think preparation is just like, and this and this is something that nobody's never gonna tell you. Like, listen to me when I tell y'all. Um, I said with myself, um, I didn't like we hired somebody to do every like literally everything. We just had to show up. So that that also gives you the right to nest and prepare for mm -hmm. what's next because it is something new, right? So the whole entire week. I prepared in a way of cleaning out old shit. Like I, I, I got rid of old. Like, like you know how you be like, um, you know, you know, like, like cleaning up. We realize now it's like spring cleaning all of the time, right? But you got to get rid of all that, all those old club words. Like it's it's so mental that it's it's everything. So. I, I spent my time cleaning and I was like, yo, when we come home, I just want it to be like a new feel. Like, so I got rid of so much stuff, like so much stuff. I got connected with my babies. I got connected with um, just grounded. I just grounded myself in cleanliness. Mm -hmm. and, um, it just brought on a whole new, a whole new vibe. So what, what did your kids think about like y'all getting married? They was excited. Mm -hmm. My daughter was my daughter my daughter was pregnant and she had the baby that Monday. We got married oh. that Saturday. She had the baby that Monday. So oh. um they was excited. They was just like all week long. My my daughter, you know, she's 24. So mm -hmm. my daughter kept screaming at me. She was like, Mama, like you don't act like she like, you Mama, you getting married. Like, what the <laughs> and I'm like, girl, this, mm. this this I mean, you know, what's supposed to happen? It happened. You know. <laughs> I feel like you know, I know it's supposed to be the first come love, then come marriage, then come the baby with the baby carriage. But it's like when you do that, the kids miss the day going wedding. Um, like they never they never saw the wedding. If you do well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and the thing about it is what do you instill in them? You know what I mean? Like uh do you instill this uh fantasy world that once again, society want to place on you first come, you know, first come to marriage. Like you got to be married in order. No, if if and and I hate this stigma. If you don't do it like that, then it's doomed to fail. You know, or you got to go through hardship. Don't set yourself up for that. Because let me tell you something. When I was standing up there saying my vows, the one part I wouldn't say was poor for rich or poor. No, we've been there, and I ain't speaking that into our existence, babe. We're not going back there no more. So no, we're gonna do for richer, richer, and richer. And it's not because of what he brings to the table. It's the table that you know we 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 place for ourselves. So mm -hmm. no, enriched don't mean money. Right. So yeah. Oh, I'm proud of you. You're you're extremely motivating. <laughs> Nika talking, I appreciate I'm about, it. Uh Nika talking, I'm about to came up. Uh, no, oh, Nika, I'm talking about the cam up video when you told the bitches stop playing with you. At that moment, you was my baby. Okay, I swear we was on there like the, I, it was the whole mob squad. We was watching the video like, girl, let's go, finally, finally. Nah, finally. for real, cause nah, for real, cause these motherfuckers, uh, uh, they they'll talk to you a half of a second and feel like they know you. Like, bitch, you gotta show me some ho. For real, like, ain't no niggas fucking with you. Like, bitch, if you can't. If a nigga can't sit on your toilet and look on the side down there where the where the extra tissue roll is supposed to be at, bitch, and I see no whole bunch of you know, you it's just mm -hmm. I had to get used to it though. I haven't always been like that. I ain't never been domestic. I always mm -hmm. been the, the go-getter, girl. I want to go get some money. Right. You know, so we get caught up in that though. We get caught up in working mm -hmm. that we forget that that shit exists. <laughs> I used to have a right. whole cleaning crew. Like, what are we talking about? Yeah, me too. Until until I started doing it myself, and and it felt more better doing it myself than it did mm -hmm. paying that money to get it done. My kids grew up with people cleaning their rooms, so mm -hmm. you know they didn't know. Like, you remember when you were saying the other day you getting Dylan used to cleaning? Mm -hmm. uh, my J is eleven, and like literally, I can go up her. See this what this see here we go here we go again uh hold on let me see here we go again is my camera on mm -hmm. is my camera on can y'all yeah. see me yes uh, why well, can't see myself right here on your screen you can't see yourself uh -uh. nah but here we go again this is my J room and mind you I have to clean my J look 
have to clean my J room. My J will not look at my J. <laughs> my J will not clean his room. Like he won't clean. He will not clean. Look, mm. he will not my clean his. Oh, imagine. I had to, I was showing Dylan how to fold. He looking all awkward. I was like, oh, the goddamn towel. <laughs> Baby, my shape, eh, like, look. So I organized his closet. Nice he got, like, he got, like, okay. you know where he supposed to put his shoes and stuff in? Yeah. I won't do that. I have to come up here. And I feel like I work every day. Wait a minute, hold on. Let me I, see that again. I like that. It's like where all his shoes and stuff go. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. I see Bad, my please look, girl. Bad, please, he won't do it. Always, and all his clothes go to the cleaner. So I'm like, son, all you gotta do is. <laughs> all it is, look, girl. That's Dylan. So, but this is how he do. This it right here. I love this that. Is what is that? Is that the? So Dylan asked me, "Is that the? Is that what is that right there?" Uh, um, the. The curve. Is that a PC? Uh-huh. The curve PC. Oh, okay. He just asked me for a PC. And I was like, what? Because I really haven't... He wanna, He kind of want a big boy room now. So... Yeah, he want me to... He left in there, so he want me to get rid of the Spider-Man look. Oh. He, he, he loved it. He was, like, he was about 14. No, he, he left it. He's so small, though. He's such a girl... That's my love child. Okay. Oh, so man. yeah, but he um he don't want me to he, sure. he wants me to change his room so bad. And I'm like, okay, son, I'll change it. So that's like if I change Dylan's room, what he want? He want that's what he want. He just asked me for Yeah, he said he wanted a PC. So the curve one, that's a nice one. Do he still like that? What his uh <laughs> Curve. His PC? Mm. Oh yeah, that's all he requires. Like we've we've done the regular PCs, the smaller PCs. I think that one is probably like a 32 inch. So mm. he's um no, he's he's a PC. And and I just realized um that and I may give him my channel because I'll probably never get on that motherfucker again, ever. Um <laughs> He he's a like my my nephew was telling me in order for he was like Amy for him to be able to play those games on a PC that's skill. Mm. So um, yeah, he plays the PC all the time. He got that um, what is that that PlayStation Five? Mm. I guess he very rarely play. He only play it when his cousins come over. So so, but the PlayStation Five is it hooked up to the PC? Mm hmm. So he would move. He would have to move his PlayStation Five. Mm -mm. No, he he just it's 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 all connected together. Okay, cause it's, all right, the PlayStation. Okay, my his PlayStation Five is in like another room. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. He said he just wants yeah. Oh, you know, like he, he just want to play. Bro. I thought you. I thought you heard my husband. Mm -mm. He was so funny. Hi, baby. What's going on with my ice machine? <laughs> Not you. Not my husband, bro. Baby, I get to say that she with pride now. You hear me? But um, no, he definitely plays. He definitely plays it, and he got all those remotes. You remember those remote controls? I was telling you that he wanted. Uh -huh. That was three hundred and some dollars. Yeah. Those are just. They just like. Um, what do you call them, girl? <laughs> like, some he just, they like just sitting up in his room and waiting for company to come over and they play them with each other. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, you got I me. Mean, listen, I've been enjoying your videos though, dude. Like, dude, I need to really make like videos though, because I, and, and like have a set thing that I'm doing. No, seriously, like the cooking videos, like mm. like even that that lasagna soup, I wanted to try, right? Because I'm like such a mm. cooking girl, that mm. I wanted to try that lasagna soup. So I was like, I'm so glad. She yeah, you should like, try. It. It's good. And even yeah. like it got now. I put I put the rest of it in the freezer because I know we ain't gonna keep eating it. But it's definitely like the and I, I really didn't. It makes a lot though. 
No, like, I'd be super proud of you when you get in that mode because it seems like you're more comfortable in that mode. Like, you will get on motherfuckers' ass, and that's cool, and that's fine, but you know me. Like, I'd be enjoying seeing you just in your element of being a girl. Like, mm -hmm. fuck them, fuck them. Yeah. Like, they for real, before I even said something to you, I said when, you know, when your name was buzzing, I was like, well, let me go check her channel out. And I watched all the videos, so like in your DIY yeah. eyes, just you being yeah. just like goofy girl, fun girl. Like mm -hmm. I liked it that I I liked yeah. it that. So you know, and you know what? That's and it's that's easy. I can't say easy. Yeah. It's easy to just hit the live button, but when you actually like, all right, I gotta sit down, edit the video, and it really don't take much to edit the video. I just have to think like, okay. And you got I, all the equipment for it. Like, what are we talking I about? All the for it. I said, it got. I have to like set a date. Like, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna do this. But I'll have a bunch of videos in my phone and not edit them. Well, like I have, a, I got a couple videos that I just never edited right now. But like right. I did, a, I did a little Target haul that I said. I should just, you know, edit it. But then I'll end up opening the stuff. Wait, y'all say Target? You know, we say Target. My yeah. son was like, it is not Target, it's Target. I was like, no, it's Target, Papa. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I like those videos, though. I like I like those because you be so focused. Your ass don't even be reading comments when you in that mode. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, you do not read no comments. You be like, and then you'll come back to the phone and be like, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, You'll respond <laughs> to a few comments and then your ass to keep on keep on going i'll be like oh okay yeah i like to see that though i love to see it i love to see it just but how do you make girl i just turned 40 the other day did you 40 different right mm -hmm. oh 40 different yeah 40 40 is say let me tell you so the shit we had time for at 39 we don't got time for at 40. Mm -hmm. 40 is different I told them, like, I'm grandmother, I'm not going to be scratching with y'all, and I end up talking to Dan Woo. Woo, shut up. I think I, I kind of just, I don't know. A, a lot of, you know, a lot of shit I, I just choose not to speak on because, like, a, a bum bitch really thought it was safe to play with me on this app, and, like, bitch, I'm a real important motherfucker, so, yeah, stop playing with me. But it so, wasn't even her playing with me. It was me playing with her. Yeah. So you know I, I mean, yeah, I had a I had an eventful day today. Um, I was listening to Sco Mysterious. Um, uh, Listen, I was sitting up there doing my makeup and curling my hair and listening, and I was trying to like I kept saying, "Okay, I can't keep reading these comments." I was <laughs> reading the comments and I said, "Yo." <laughs> yeah, yo, make a drop down in the comments and the shit go haywire. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like, what? I said, and she knows she annoying as fuck and she gonna be super annoying the fact that she knows she have annoyed you. You know what I mean? So it's like, I was so, I was laughing so hard. I was like, yo, this is like, <laughs> <laughs> like oh, I was dying. I be saying in my oh, head, like yo. imagine, like imagine me sitting on the internet just screaming at the comments, like wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point that was funny. <laughs> yo, I was laughing so hard, like 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 for real. I had to start my eyebrows over five, five times. <laughs> Because I kept, yeah. I'm already goofy, so I kept busting out laughing like, "Yo, this is hilarious!" And then you, you started talking about, "Okay, but you're responding to me, bum!" <laughs> like, what? Oh my god, it was so hilarious! It was so hilarious. Wait, Girl. what you say, Mickey? Don't cuss me out. Yeah. Oh yeah, price is up. Yeah, I'm still, I'm going before I leave. It's on my way. That's why I didn't get to go. Um, yeah, I didn't go yet because it's on my. It's just it's on my way. I gotta go to the um, my po my PO box. It's on my way when I. And you got enough. I, I be mad. Girl, I was over there like, when I tell you, when I tell you I was 
thoroughly entertained by <laughs> I was just laughing like what is wrong with y'all like and then they was just bodying itself like I was just like they are screaming and yelling all I said I would say girl I, I just knew when Ashley hit the chat it was they was like all day and I was like what is going on? <laughs> they were like she can't talk about me I'm like I didn't say nothing about you I think I get the most laughs at when when SD starts screaming. I be like, "Yo, what the fuck?" <laughs> like, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> like, man, what did you say, man? What? Did but, you say? but I did hear him say, "Make a mark, want to tell his story." Who is oh, Mark? she said, "Make a mark, want to tell his story." Who is Mark? That's Sean Shenanigans. And congratulations, Sean Shenanigans. Is that, that the lady that reached a thousand today? Oh, is that what it is? Sean Shenanigans. Okay. I think so. Who is Mark? Congratulations, baby. What, what, SD, what SD, that's what I was about to talk. I was actually about to. Um, I love you more, Pisces vibes. Say, Pisces vibes. Oh, my God. Pisces vibes. She ain't going to let me not notice her, nigga. She going to be like, that's my motherfucking yes. camera, baby. Like, for real. Yes, I love Oh, that. you know what I'm working on? My backyard. Oh, my oh, yeah. God. I said I was going to do that this shit. Like, I said like I was going to do Building that outside kitchen. But you, you yeah. Outside Good. kitchen. Yeah, I'm, that's. Well, nice. I'm doing it in a way of, like, not everything so bolted down because, you know. You know, you can't get on here and pop your shit too much, but uh, yeah, bitch, mm -hmm. after that good old ceremony, how we went to the groundbreaking that was like the most epic. Like, the wedding was was beautiful and amazing, but I'm I'm so um, you know, set in my zone now that yeah, I want to accumulate some shit. You get what I'm saying? So, we went to the groundbreaking, and I mm -hmm. was like, I had been looking at that land for a little bit, and I mm -hmm. thought he was gonna pass it up, and he was like, no, I got it because. You know, for you know, for uh, wedding gifts, they always think you want um, the like. He kept saying, "Oh, do you want this? Do you want that?" And I'm like, "No, I want a deed." The fuck? <laughs> uh, like I've had all this shit. You know what I'm saying? And it all loses its value once you, you know, once you get it. So it's like, no, I want to start uh, designing my house. Like I want to design it. I want to <laughs> have every. Like, especially the closet, the, the only thing that really matters to me with a house is the closet, the bathroom, and the kitchen. So, no, that's what I was ready and prepared to do. So, when we went to that first thing Sunday morning, I was like, we didn't even have to have that, you know? Mm -hmm. In the minute, baby. I typed in the comments, so but I can get um, Shout shenanigans. I'm very sorry to hear that. But if you need my help, girl, I'm here. Tell Mark I'm here. Um, you know, if you need my help, yeah. Um, and about that outside kitchen, bro, I, I want to be see, I want to be cooking on the grill. I want to be, oh, I want to just live, I want to utilize my space because I don't ever utilize my space or my gadgets, and I want to start doing that. I do need you, me, okay, Sean. No, seriously, I don't utilize my space as I'm supposed to, or the thing I feel like I spend money on things and never use them. So I a new grill I because I had a real bomb egg grill and um I left it out so I didn't use it and I abused it, let it get rusted up and I left it at my old house. So now I need a grill. Um but I wanna do why I, you didn't clean it. You know they sell I, cleaner stuff. I know. That's what I'm saying. I, that was a thousand dollar grill. I left it at the old yeah. house. I might have to sneak in the backyard and go snatch it up <laughs> But but uh No, um, cause you definitely can't clean it. Yeah, I know. I, but see, I didn't know what I know now. Which is why I knew I should have got the goddamn grill because I knew eventually I would know. But I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm like, fuck it. I'm just gonna get a new grill. Um, I I do want to do the outside because I messed up my gazebo, my little gazebo because mm -hmm. I didn't utilize it. But I want to just have my Zen on ten. Um, I'm utilizing the garage space because it's clean. See a lot mm -hmm. of things utilized because I junked it up. Um, my drawers. I got three drawers that I got to organize. Downstairs. Have you seen those shelves that you could put up in the garage? Yeah, I, I, I put my shower, I put some showers out. Oh, at the top part. At the oh, top I part. It. I think I know what you're talking about. They like it's like it's way, way. Can really get a lot out of it. It's, it's like way, way out of it. Uh, let me show it to you. But I do want to buy a house. I do want to buy a house, so I have to work a little more than I I, I have been working. I got to work this year 
for real, for real, and make sure my accounts is the the flow is good. Get you a whole brain. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, right. but Lady Nika, I mean Queen Nika, yes. girl. You see it like it's these stars right here. Let me see. Makeup. Hold on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I was. It's like it go all the way at the top. It give you all the space. Yeah. Yeah. Take it to Adrian. Yeah. Yeah. It give you all the space, like, all the uh -huh. way out. The Okay. The nerve. Oh, I had it in the way of where you see that. Sorry. No, what I saw. Oh. Um. <laughs> in your, in um. your little case. Sorry. I talked to Sean G today too. Um, that's my dog, man. That's my motherfucking yeah. dog, man. Say, yeah. that's my dog. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. That's my dog, mm -hmm. for real. Yeah, he's a real cool. Hey. He's a no, seriously, and you know I wasn't working when he that's so now I'll be working and he'd be mm. like, nigga, your ass don't be dumb ass, don't never answer the goddamn phone. I'm like, I can't answer the phone while I'm at work. Crazy, you is crazy. God dog. You're like, yeah. don't never answer the phone. You know, son, you act like a big ass. If you don't answer the phone, he'd be like zapping out. <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah. But now he only get um like an hour out right now. You need my help? You good? So they they on lock they on lockdown. Oh, okay, okay. See, I never know how I I don't know how that how uh the fed system works. So well, right now he on twenty three one. And I always forget. I always tell him like, you know, I think I was supposed to send him some books. Yeah. So hopefully he got them because he, he on the series that okay he on the series that we read. And he's like, nigga, you gotta send me the other point because I don't oh, oh, oh. these already. <coughs> you know what oh, you're talking about, right? <laughs> no, I put you, you said books, and I'm so, he be calling the other stuff books. But, <laughs> but oh, okay. I don't know about that. No, books. it's the Ashley and, and Ashley Internet and Jaquavia's books. Oh no. So no, he just I, he he um he needed the uh, CDL books. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. He tell me about those. I don't know about those books. He, he probably Chad, when you be in there, you be needing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little premiere, mm -hmm. a little bit of this. That's why I be telling people like we all everybody works together. Like it ain't no um no cash cow situation when it comes to that. Like I've been in prison before, so I mean, you know, I know how me I feel. Too. So me I ain't too. going even if I don't even if it was anybody like that I've known off of YouTube like as long as I mean if, if it was cool I would be looking out for you and if people wanted to look out however whatever you needed like because it'd be like stuff that you just can't do like you might not be able to make a phone call you might not be able to do this like I'd be cool I would I would do that for anybody and I would hope my I would I would hope by me being on here I would hope that if something happened to me I wouldn't have no like real issues it's enough people to you know help out so yeah he, he had people that really loved him so yeah it ain't That's i mean kind of insulted it's kind of insult to say like it's just me because it's not he has people that really fuck with him and you know look out for that him. just be needing to know how to get in contact yeah that be the whole thing yeah that be the yeah. whole thing getting mm -hmm. in contact and, and and especially like sending your support so yeah it's stuff that people be saying sometimes like oh i ain't I ain't send it because like you can't say I ain't doing this because Mink is like shut that don't even make no sense. Like, well, I don't want to do this because Mink. Mink, no, I don't got you. If you want to do something for somebody, do it, do it for them. If you want to be there for somebody, he you know what I'm saying? There's other ways. And, and I even well, express you know, people don't know how to not include themselves in yeah, that's just but weird. when I talked to him personally, he told me that's the way to get it come. I was like, Oh, okay, no shit. You know, when I think about it, I do it. I know I had that going on. So I was like, listen. And I told him, like, listen, I can't think outside of 224 24. I don't right. even want to think about nothing else outside of 224 yeah. 24, baby. So once I, you know, once I snap back in, just just know, nigga, it's straight. Shit. I, don't, I ain't tricking on that. No, no, nothing. So, nah, he, that nigga cold as fuck. Like, cold yeah. people, man cool people man. and yeah. if, if 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 he fuck with you he fuck with you you know mm -hmm. you know how that goes shit. Mm -hmm. but other than that um you know he's skeptical about a lot of people but mm -hmm. i think his discernment is on point because 
some people he just don't feel like that. And that's mm. not speaking on nobody. He just mm. he just you know, he just be looking at certain people that be um trying to get close to him and he just be like, Shit, I ain't I just didn't feel it like that, you know? Mm. So and you know what? what it is. was crazy because despite what people may like think, I didn't know who Sean G was. Like, I know a little more, like, as far as like, like what people know. I didn't know yeah. that. Like, even when like everybody be like, oh, you doc Sean G. I did. But it when I was, re I didn't understand why people were so like, hurry up and put it out. Hurry up and put it out. Because I'm like, what? Why? Like, cause, and he didn't really, it was just like, they was really like it was certain people that was like you know put out his, like where's it at when you gonna do it and I, kept, I was forgetting about it although we and even the reason why i was like i'm a i'm a i'm a, a put the paperwork out or whatever it was because of something that somebody else did like somebody um did something to chanel or was saying something about chanel's daughter and i was like if you come in my people i'll come into us and that's just what it was but he never had did nothing to me so but but I, I just say that to say he always was like, I'm glad you don't know who I am. Like, and I'll be like, well, okay. Yeah. Cool. But I, cause I ain't never know. I really didn't. Even with seeing the paperwork, the paperwork was just like, all right, you had a gun. This is what I respect though. He definitely mm -hmm. asked me like, Mika, what you think about? And I was like, man, I don't, you know, I don't judge people. Mm -hmm. So I was like, Oh no, I haven't. I haven't seen enough. I haven't watched enough to be able to say uh, yes or no. Like you just, you gotta kind of vibe on your own vibe, and you gotta see how people interact with you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And what you bring. So he's yeah. like, oh, okay. You know, he asked me. He tell you he asked me, um, what did I think about? What he's like, what you think about me? And I was like, I don't, I don't know it that well. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And um, I don't really go out for what everybody else have to say. It's like, if I fuck with a person, I fuck with them. The people that have like the most to say about me is people who don't have, who've never had a conversation with me. Like, you ain't I never had like, a I know it take they motherfucker long as fuck to get a scene inside, nigga. She gonna, she gonna stutter. And <laughs> yeah, nigga, she gonna, just, nigga, nigga, it's gonna take her forever to get, she gonna be like, cuz, cuz, wait a minute. Uh, huh? I've been getting better with that. I've been you trying. Have. You, you have. You have. I've been working on it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, at the same time, the that's, a part of, that's, a, that's a part of like, if a person, if you know me, you know how I am. Like, so a lot of times it's like, all right, if I want to say something and, and it could be the, the whole ADHD shit, because if I'm going to say something and, and like you, and somebody interrupt me, I'm going to go back to where, where I started. Like, okay. Well, okay, so this is what I was saying. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you stop me at six, I'm gonna be like, one, two, I'm like, when you're done, I'm gonna I used be to like, feel okay. so bad for you when you used to hit my hair panel, and then it used to be like, my hair and uh, Cam, they used to be like, and she comes with this long winded, but you be, I think you'd be so overwhelmed about trying to get out what you're trying to say that it just because they lie just, so much. I be having to go back, back to. Cause when they lie on me or something, somebody lie on me, I be having to go back to like you know. So you don't remember this day when this happened, and then this is where it started. This didn't start right here, and then they be like, that's why they be like, I'm gonna break it down like a pound because you, because I'm trying to understand how you don't understand where this started at. Don't lie on me because this is what happened first, and then this is what happened second. Not first, second, third, but it happened here. And but, I be crying, laughing. I be like, bro, this nigga, and, and, it's gonna take this nigga forever to get this shit out. Cause you be like, cause. Cause then run me then they want to start scratching with me and then i'll be like okay now back to what i was saying they be like oh god <laughs> no sometimes like, your ass be there for, sometimes your ass forget your whole train of thought nigga that shit be hilarious <laughs> you be like no what i was you were saying okay <laughs> then you hear that damn cup over there wrangling so you be like <laughs> they'll fuck around let you take too many sips of that to, what is it called that he don't Ooh. Exactly, mean they drain your damn energy. That I be going, god damn it! But when I when I see, they wasn't ready for when I started my ad. When I start taking ad, when I ain't give a fuck about what they were talking about, <laughs> bitch, fuck you. I got mm -mm, no, absolutely not. Oh god! But I haven't taken my ad in a minute though. I haven't been taking my ad and I think because I've organized my life more, it has mm -hmm. calmed down. 
help that and my anxiety it's like you know like the that anxious like not getting stuff done like actually just boom 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 my alexa is fucking amazing so yeah. i really don't have the energy like that shit just watching some of the stuff like that's what I was going to talk about too. I, and not to be super messy because I don't, not to put you in nothing, but well, first of all, the SD thing today, um, when it comes to SD, I just really don't like him. Okay. Um, and it took me, and I heard what he said. So he was like, oh, you always felt like this about me. You, I didn't, I didn't. I grew to not like SD. And I realized now I don't like him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like you. I don't like the person you are. And I just don't. And um, it, it, it was, I used to, for some people, they always, they always said that I took Jade's side. Mm -hmm. This goes back, this goes back to, to that, right? I noticed certain things, like, if I, I, I recognize how people treat other people. And I, I take side, like, side notes, you know, like mental notes. When right. I, on how you treat people. So when it came to Jade, um, I felt like SD treated her horrible. I do. Like it's certain things that that would happen. Like stop going back to Isha. Like you dealing with a girl on on YouTube and you got Jade, right? So I couldn't imagine being a girl being somebody, my boyfriend, going online, having sex with a girl from YouTube on YouTube, right? Cause they basically, and this is no disrespect to Isha, but y'all know the whole situation that happened on TT's live, knowing that it happened. And then every single day, all day, this nigga is on YouTube with that same female. And I don't, in my twenties, I would have done so many mean, uh, physical, uh, uh I would have fucked SD up in mm -hmm. my twenties. Bust his uh -huh. windows out the car. I'd have uh -huh. fucked him up. I'd have been toxic. I might have fucked a nigga in the bed. Like I'd have did some ignorant, fucked up shit to that nigga. And then it's like she would call in live sometime, like block her, fuck that bitch, and you disrespecting this young girl in front of all of these people. And ain't y'all in the same city disrespecting her? And you wonder why she exposed your stupid ass? Like what? Everybody like oh. Jade, OSD, you need to leave Jade and you need to do that. I always was like, no, I kind of understand where Jade is coming from. And we used to have like, you know, because I know we us, we talk behind the scenes, have a little girl talk about what we see on YouTube or whatever sometimes, especially with the SD stuff because we was like torn in between like, we would be in a Discord they like, oh, I just feel so horrible for SD. And I'm like, the fuck? Do y'all understand what he has done to this girl? Like, for real. Like, he has like he is fucked up and it still was like you know i still understood that jay did hurt his feelings sometimes as well but i wasn't i always stayed kind of like neutral with it because i understood where jay was coming from and i'm not saying it because i'm saying i don't like sd i'm just saying that he was very disrespectful toxic and hurtful to that girl you know and yeah. people would just act like oh she jay did this and she did that look at you you don't and you know i just don't mm -mm. and i personally feel like when i even heard and i was cool as d during this time but when i heard like you know her mother her father died and, and he was online saying i don't fuck your daddy and all that other shit. that was i was like i believe i i believe that that was gonna be it like i said jay ain't gonna fuck with him after that like that you don't go to her her father funeral and stuff like that like she ain't gonna fuck like that that type of shit is where you know how like it'd be like you gotta like it's a dagger to the chest when somebody ain't there yeah. for you like during a time like that and he was being mm -hmm. disrespectful and fucked up and he's an alcoholic so you gotta deal with this nigga being an alcoholic screaming and yelling it'll be times where we would hear jay sleep in the bed as d screaming and hollering and she's like could you like could you um like could you you are so loud like you know what i'm saying and i just felt like you know she i feel like she went through a lot with sd and i thought at certain times i felt bad for her and at certain times i felt bad for him as well but he would do things to bring her to that point. And he will always play the victim like, and then she did this to me. She did that to me. She did this to me. And it will be like, y'all forgetting what 
what what he did to Jay. So, you know, and the, but that's a that's relationship shit. So generally, I stay out of that type of stuff, like in real, like in, for real, because I, you know, I, I I liked SD at the time. So I just, you know, he, he, I could tell he loved her. He felt he, he he was, you know, he had feelings for, her, but the way he treated her, like no. Mm -mm. But and then at the same time, it was certain things that he would say, like then she wouldn't let me be around my kids. Then we'll be like, well, so you don't go around your kids because a female tell you you can't like. Then I'm, that that was another like ding dong like what the fuck like what it was just like red flags to me about just who you are as a person and who you are as a man. Now we ain't cool. I mean, like, I ain't about to meet up with you in real life or nothing like that. Not to say we not cool, but I'm saying, like, you know, with this YouTube shit, you know? Yeah. But, but it's just, like, certain things I just, you know, I, I'm not being judgmental, but as as far as, like, just ob my observations um, of some cer certain things that he did, then the so first would, time... Mm, I was going to say, so would you say that you leaned more towards friend and Jade? more than SD? Um, I will say friending, but I would say like, just, I was understanding of what Jay was, what she was trying to say, like what she would be saying online, like, and not really being able to express herself or she, mm -hmm. you know, she made started expressing herself on, on, um, on like her own channel and stuff. But from the get go, and I, I, I've talked to Jay before and I just remember myself in my twenties. So I, I understood why she was so like, violent and, and angry and felt disrespected because that would really really hurt me if my boyfriend slept with a girl on off of youtube and when i came on when i when i first noticed sdnm i thought isha was his girlfriend but jay would be in the chat like oh, jay would be in the chat and be like block her block that what the fuck she in here like you you would be like I, that would hurt my feelings to the core. If I was with somebody and he sitting here, even at when y'all together, when, even when they was together, like he would be prancing around with Isha, like that was his girl. Like after you and Jay then got back together, like it was and Isha at the time. Again, no disrespect to Isha. Isha was disrespectful as fuck. Like you know what I'm saying. Like if if I was Jade, I would feel very disrespected. You know, but that was what. Isha, that's that was just their their whole communication, all of that. I felt like that that could be very that would be very hurtful if I to Jade. And I'm not saying that she's perfect because I know she has her flaws as well. But I'm just saying I believe that I what I saw was SD bringing her to the point of of her doing the things that she was doing, and and, and not only that, coupled with him being an alcoholic. Like that shit is like I couldn't imagine dealing with an alcoholic. Like I cannot imagine dealing with SD like in real life as a man. Like as a as a as a I, he he may have good qualities. He may be okay at times because he's cool for the most part. He could be cool, but um, yeah. It's it, it's as far as I'm concerned, the J part. It wasn't like I'm, I could be like, oh yeah, I don't fuck with you, but. What really made me look at SD differently is how how he did Emily, and that's because he was pursuing Emily. He was pursuing Emily, and then it's like, and then I, I'm like, I, I was questioning whether SD was like really genuine, or he was just like phony and doing things for like clout, attention, and stuff like that. It was like I started look. I, I, it was just, and, and it's not like a, a thing that I was like, oh, fuck him. He doing this shit for attention. It was just, I would just laugh at it. But for me, I felt like he would do a lot of things for attention. Um, and he knowingly was doing those things for attention. Um, but when he did that to Emily, because um, when he did that to Emily, I felt, I, I felt some type of way. And I think that may have been the first time I stopped really fucking with him like that. Or that might have been a second time, but I don't know. But I know yeah, the first. I'm confused. Like what he do? What? Okay, what so, on? so with Emily, so they called me, and like, and uh, did Emily call me? Emily called me, and this is when Sean, Sean G was home, right? Emily had called me. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm I'm gonna drop the link. Give me a second. Okay, but Emily had called me and was like, was like, 
I can't remember exactly the, the chain of events, but I think I was sleeping when the stuff first started happening. And he was on live with Emily, but he was all like exposing the fact that first of all, he was exposing the fact that he was with Emily. Emily didn't know. Right. He was exposing the fact that he was with Emily. Like they was like kissing and doing, you know, like getting nasty, like for real. Um, but he exposed the fact that he was with Emily. Um, knowing, knowing, first of all, as D has a um, is an alcoholic and Emily has an addiction issue. Right. So um, Emily tends to like she like, you know, be like encouraging to somebody like she was at a point where she was getting better and she started she's now she's dealing with SD so she wasn't even around on YouTube like that but then she, he exposed the fact that she was that he was with her now Jay found out where they was at because she had his Apple watch and got his location but it's just the fact that you exposed the fact that she was with Emily um and then throughout that whole night I was driving I was on the phone with Emily because SD was like passed out and she was like, I don't know what he's on. Like, I, she's like, I don't think he's, I, I can't remember if she specifically said that he was on Coke or some other drugs. I can't remember this time because it didn't really matter to me, but he was gone out of his motherfucking mind. He was gone out of his mind. Like you could hear him in the background. Like she would be like, are you okay? Like she was real scared. Like she was scared as fuck. Jay came to the hotel room. And Emily was scared. And so then it was me and Sean G on the phone. And for real, Emily wanted to leave. Like, Emily wanted to leave and go to Sean G's house. Well, let's be clear. And, um, and you know, they was, like, her and Sean G had their, like, exchange of, like, whatever. But the main thing was she was scared to leave the hotel. And she, but she didn't want to leave SD. Mind you, she could have just left SD there, let Jay come in or whatever. She could have did him, like, completely dirty. Like, and she did, and she was very worried, she, like crying, like, I don't know. And then she, it was like, she was afraid because of how he would, because how fucked up he was. And, um, and she was just like, she was, you know, tr again, trying to get better, whatever. So then the next day come, he wake up cursing her out. Like, that didn't fucking happen. But you, and then tell her, she told Jay where, where, she told Jay where, um, where he was at, like, you, you set me up, you set me up. And she was like, like, Emily, first of all, is like, she got anxiety throughout the roof. She was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like, she was just going crazy. Like, she was like, I, I did not, like, she was like, I did not tell her about, you know, she going crazy. He's zapping out on her. Mind you, this, Jayden came to the hotel room with a bonnet on and all that shit. And so I'm like, Emily. But throughout, I mean, for hours, Emily was sitting up for hours. <laughs> Like sitting up, I mean, I'm calling Jay. Like, why the bunny matter? <laughs> what? Because she was like scared. She's like, she's like, what you like me? She's like, big bunny. Like she was scared as shit. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, it ain't funny. But... Like, I, so I called Jay. I said, Jay, are you at the hotel? She said, mm Hmm. I was like, Jay, please don't do nothing to Emily. She was like, I'm not going to do nothing to her. But I couldn't believe it. I had just talked to Jay. And I feel like I had calmed her down, everything. Like, she was like, uh-huh. She was just talking to me like, mm -hmm, yeah, like nothing was wrong. <laughs> I was like, no way, Jay. There's no way she's at the hotel. There's no way. I just talked to her. She said she was going home. Like, I was like, what? Oh, shit, so I'm like, oh, my God, Emily, do you know what? Did she know your car? Like, she was like, oh, my God. Like, Emily is going fucking bananas. And I'm like, Jay, are you gone? Because I'm like trying to get Emily to leave. So she's like, I don't want to leave him here. He's, I, she's like, me, if, I, if I leave him here, something happens. Like she was crazy, going crazy. Then the next day on live, he gets on this bitch calling her all types of white bitches, fat, this bitch. Like it was, I mind you, I was on the, then I was on the phone with SD and Emily. And Emily was like, please go to rehab. I was like, Emily, look. You got to understand, like, she was like, I, I, she was just going crazy. Like, I thought he was trying to get better. Like, she was on her journey of, you know, recovery. And this nigga, I'm like, and Emily, you, I'm like, you cannot, like, be, a, like, I, I, this is a disaster. Like, you can't, like, if you're trying to do better and be better, 
you and she was trying to help him like i just he she's like i he will not live past this age like you know what I'm saying? she was going crazy she was like oh my god like so she was begging him to go to rehab okay begging him to go to rehab like um i'll meet you you can go to rehab. like she was setting it up everything so he could go to rehab and then it was like the ne the the same day if not i can't remember if it was the same day or the next day he was cursing her out on live totally disrespectful like <clears throat> she was like why is he like why she didn't understand why he was treating her like i i just felt like it was so fucked up and so it made me just look at him like you you're just a real fucked up person like motherfuckers be feeling sorry for you and shit but you really a fucked up person and that's where i i always like just looked at him like differently like i felt some type of way about how he handled it that shit was fucked up and i and, and some of the things i can't really like remember verbatim because I didn't, you know, I wasn't taking, you know, like notes like that. But it was just mm -hmm. that situation, how that situation transpired. I was like, he's a fucked up person, period. Like he's ungrateful. He is um, like he's attention seeking. He has issues with himself. Like I just was like, uh, -uh. like I, I just didn't. And then I think he was he made me try to cuss me out about like you taking up for Emily. You no, it wasn't taking up for nobody. I felt like how he treated a human being that was trying to help him was fucked up. Period. Like, and then he was remember he was telling her, like, she ain't got no money, that bitch broke. And did she had confided in him about her financial situation and things that she had done, which she also had confided in me. But I didn't go telling her business to, to YouTube like that. Like that I just felt like that was fucked up. Like it was fucked up and I didn't like it. And it took me a minute to even like even I don't even know how I started back talking as the at the that, but I didn't yeah, he used um Emily for content. So it started making me think like, like you know how like oh who who be running plays and stuff like that. Like I be thinking like people run plays on SD and I also kept a mental note of people saying that SD run plays. And he does. Like he really does and he's just the more and more he went back to uh uh dealing with um 88 i realized how much they were similar so it's like they both do things for attention they both do things for clout they both are very dishonest they both are like just they don't give a fuck about nobody feelings but their own like they have similar personalities they don't give a flying fuck about nobody but themselves so that's I, I just don't um this whole last little stunt that he did with the whole um with the whole cracky situation i felt like the cracky situation um he blew out of proportion because he wanted some attention for um the, de the dealing with uh cracky and you know uh, for him to say s certain things uh about me and i ain't never like another thing that was a red flag to me is that he was behind the scenes on my head, uh, with my hair and them asking like, what you, what y'all think about me? Y'all think you could trust me? Like you sitting, you sitting somewhere with my, like basically my ops asking about me, and I ain't never questioned you about you, but you, you have, as D has done some very questionable, uh, disloyal, uh, snake and shit on here, like in plain sight. So for him to wonder if he can trust me, weird to me, like, and you asking people that I don't even fuck with. Like, I, that was kind of, that was weird to me too. You keep on wondering about me, but motherfuckers really need to worry about you. Because, like, the fuck, I ain't never did nothing to that man, but help his bitch ass. But, um, and even, uh, with the, um, what else was it? The, uh, the more recent shit was with the, um, with the, with the cranky shit. Like I might've been joking around like, Oh, she, you know, that's your little boyfriend. You know, I literally was joking, but the first time that I knew that he was instigating the situation was when he kept saying, Oh, mink up here. You don't want to fuck with mink. You ain't ready for mink, Jackie. You ain't mad. And I had never even spoken to the girl. That's why I just played music, you know? So then it was like, he instigated a situation where though, like you really got this, these people thinking I'm talking about him. I don't even know that bitch. Like, I don't know them like that. But that was your way. If that was your way of getting back into the good graces of, with uh, 88, that's on you. But don't use me to, to do that. You could just deal with her. Uh, nobody cares. I don't give a fuck. I would never give a fuck who SD actually dates. 
I don't give a fuck. As far as it being entertainment for everybody, it's entertainment. But to make it seem like somebody turning back on, because who you fucking with, you want attention. Like you are attention seeking. And then it's certain shit he even did the, was doing the cake here in plain sight. It's like when he taking over the panel and doing all that weird shit. It's like that shit is just not like I don't respect that. A lot of things he do, I don't respect as a man, him, him as a man. But it ain't like I gotta snake you or 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 drag you or anything like that. But that little play you ran, he ran with with, with Cracky because because he wanted some attention from a bitch. Don't don't put me in that. Don't I, I done been through enough shit on this motherfucking app for him to even pop his gums to say anything about me. It's crazy because you know I don't deal with like I don't I would never deal with SD again ever. He would never be I would never have a conversation. I don't know what the fuck he called my phone for today for. I'd have nothing to say. Like nothing. Nothing at all. To the nerve of this bitch ass nigga to say to uh, Skalka, Skalka. And so Mink not a line, Mink not a line. You was just in love with Mink uh, 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 three days ago. Like you, you, what, kind, what? What are you talking about? You was just, oh, I love Mink, Mink, Mink this, Mink that. Every time he get on my panel, he gotta be like, I fuck with Cool, I fuck with Cool. Mink don't talk about Broadway. Like what? <laughs> like I don't give a fuck who as we fuck with. I don't give like, and like he said, we don't. I don't know you. You don't know me. I'm not in Dallas. I'm not none of that. But one one thing I know is you a bitch ass hoe ass nigga. I know that you done bat like a motherfucking hoe out this bitch, <laughs> pretending to be a motherfucking gangster and have all these bodies and motherfuckers done, done, done popped your stupid ass a billion times. I know you a clout chaser. I know you. I know. I know. I know if. if all that shit you was popping, even with Trig, and I don't fuck with him. Even with Trig, you just was copping please two days ago. Oh, I ain't got no problem with you, Trig. I ain't got no problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know that. I, I I I don't think you qualify to to call me a lame. I don't even think you qualify, cause the lame the lame ass nigga that as he is, he don't qualify to ask anybody about me. He ain't a nigga that would I would I would I would fuck with in real life at all. You can't trust a nigga like him. Like he's unpredictable. Want, baby? He unpredictable, unhinged. Like, no, no more chances. I would never, never, no. Like the fuck? Did it, I ain't mean to lie. What the fuck? I was like, I was asleep. The crazy part is I had fell asleep because y'all know I had been working or whatever, but I was on the couch listening to the all the scratching it free and yeah, if y'all y'all might have noticed I wasn't in the chat. Um I wasn't in the chat uh for a while. Um I wasn't in the chat for a while because um I fell I dozed off on the damn couch. I and I when I woke I woke up and they like SD speaking on you. I'm, 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 I see a bunch of messages like SD said this and SD said that. And I had to. Get, I was like, let me let me rewind this shit back right quick. And, and I just got. I said, is he asking Skoka? What the fuck is wrong with this nigga? So okay. So no, to keep um, no keep it real, Ming. You made a live that you was denounced as the as and so did I did I say I didn't even mention SD in that live. I didn't mention as being that live. And um, so no, keep it real, Mink. You made a live that you was denouncing as the that started your BS and that's when S D and Jackie first started to talk Mink. So let's be very clear. I felt that it was absolutely wrong for S D to allow Cracky to speak on Toya's daughter. So I was going to go live about him doing that to Toya, but I ended up not even speaking about it, but people lied in the chat and said that I spoke, I denounced SD. I didn't speak about it at all. I ended up talking about something totally different. I forgot, like I was actually joking about like denouncing SD, but I did want to say that I felt that he was absolutely wrong. Um, I felt like that he was absolutely wrong for allowing 
a person that you don't even know to disrespect Toya's daughter like that. And when Toya wanted to um, defend herself, he didn't allow her to. And I felt like that was fucked up. And I felt like I felt the way I felt Toya, like she, she, she was taken a bit back. I felt bad for her. Like, I was like, damn, like that shit was like, damn, like everybody was like, damn, bitch. Like you going to ask about somebody, bitch, we don't even know you out. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not. I'm not mostly sector, but I've been around long enough to know, bitch, we don't know you. We'll know you for you to even speak on Toya's daughter and how dare as the bitch ass. That, that was another thing. I forgot about that. So thank you, Boston, for reminding me. That was some bitch ass shit that he did. And I'm glad Toya porn bombed him. That's what she, he deserved. She deserved to get a look back. I, I wish. I mean, she had to do it like I understood what I understood. Um, what she felt, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just understood that. And so I felt like he was fucked up for that. It'd be people that be like, Toya, I don't never hear Toya dragging SD or I ain't never heard Toya do that. They they was they seemed like they was cool as far as when the live started and began and, and, and continued. They seemed like they was pretty damn cool. But for him to sit there and let that girl do that, I don't give a fuck who she was. I don't give a fuck who it was because you allow somebody to do that because you want to get back in the good graces of 88. Jackie says she been in the bushes watching for the last three years. That's how she know. Well, I don't give a fuck how she know. For her to say something like that out her mouth and now y'all y'all be worried about what people say about somebody's kids. No, fuck that. That was disrespectful. She was, she was out of line for even saying anything like that to Toya about her daughter like so all that y'all know me y'all know me i didn't like that i didn't like that so i probably would never fuck with you i don't like you that was some weak ass disrespectful hoe ass shit so and she i don't know why men don't like me where they come from where they come from sd they ain't come from nobody but sd I ain't said nothing. I didn't never. I'm I'm over here joking, laughing, like, oh, you got your boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm joking. He acting like I'm really like pressed about it. Like, bitch, nigga, I don't give a fuck about who you fuck with. <laughs> like, you really acting like everybody know I was joking. I was joking with SD, like, oh, you got your new little boyfriend. Cause the girl kept speaking on me. So I'm like, you know, you got your little boyfriend. So, oh now you wanna act funny. Like, you know, and I was literally like, I didn't, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Yes, ended up speaking. Okay, yeah. So that that live I was supposed to be talking about what SD had did that night. Um, you you ended up speaking to not on my watch. That's that night. So they're lying. You can the, the live's still up. And what I noticed is like he they listen. I done been on this app for now four years. I got what eight thousand subscribers. I didn't. I didn't came on this app. Had big numbers, low numbers. Uh, I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, over here with all of these people, y'all dick ro rolled me when I was I, when I was getting a thousand people in the chat when I was fucking with VS. All of y'all ran over there to fuck with VS. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. Y'all follow half. Y'all follow eighty percent of y'all follow every motherfucking thing I do. I could be on this motherfucker cleaning my, my, my cleaning my ass cheeks. And y'all would still be watching. I don't give a fuck if there's 20 motherfuckers in here. 20 motherfuckers gonna be you, including you. So I'm just trying to understand, like, I'm not no person that's on here. I don't even be monetizing my videos at the time. I came over here with my own motherfucking people. I came on this app with my own fucking people. Y'all knew to this this number shit. Y'all knew to it. So it, it might y'all might be fanned out by numbers and shit like that. That shit don't make or break me i'm always gonna be who the fuck i am so for my fucker be like oh y'all had to i ain't never had to try to blackball nobody i ain't never had to team up against nobody i always stood on my own me and my motherfucking squad and y'all know that though y'all know that y'all know that so for whatever for whatever reason you bitches and niggas be so intimidated i don't really give a fuck but it, sometimes it, it, it makes me be like what the fuck like why y'all coming at me like that? Why, you, why why do you feel the need to make these false narratives about me to make yourself like you, you think that's going to 
I'm still going to have my squad. I'm still going to have my people. They're not going to go nowhere. Because I ain't going nowhere. But to be like, oh, you lying. You lying. Yeah. It ain't going to be no shit show, shit, uh, uh, shit show over here. That's not what it's going to be. It may be sometimes, but overall, no, nah, it ain't going to be no shit show. It ain't going to be a whole bunch of, I'm not about, it's not about to be some wild, ghetto ass, weird ass fucking, fucking play that I got to humiliate myself and my kid to get some numbers. I'm never, I'm never going to do that. You will never catch me. But if it's something that I want to speak about, if I want to go, if I want to have a thousand people in my chat right now, trust me, I know exactly what to do. If I want to have 10 people in the chat right now, I know exactly what to talk about. I can do what the fuck I want to do because I know exactly what the fuck I'm doing. I don't, I don't. The, like the the more I, I look at this shit, like I said, I laugh at that shit, or I analyze it. Like, yo, people in the world really be like this, and y'all know I watch my ops. I watch. I just watched Cracky, okay, for the past hour before I came live, okay. Now I watch I watched them on Skull Mysterious um, today, and I saw how stupid they are. I'm about to get messy, uh, Nika. Oh, okay. Um, well, um, I, you know, you know, I always enjoy our little girl time when I can get <laughs> out of you. So, you know, um, I, I mean, I, I, I put in your chat like 90 times. Um, yesterday. <laughs> I'm like gonna get 90. messy, but I am about to. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna really, be, I'm gonna be honest, like for real. I, I have to be honest. I have to be honest, like. Here she go. For real. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here she goes. Let's go. Yeah, it's here. I, I just finished my coffee. Oh, mm -hmm. It's coming. You about to... I'm going to just, you know, put my little two fingers up and go to the chat. It's okay, mate. Yes, you my girl. I love you, girl. See you later, mate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it started out. See, I like to be respectful to um to Queen Nikki because I know she don't be wanting to be involved in this. But I'm just gonna be honest, okay? So these past few weeks, or maybe like a couple months, I've just been watching like and almost like wow, like the shit is sad, you know. And even with the scratching, like when I take my time off and I be like, I ain't gonna be on YouTube, or I'm like watching something else when I get into my Diddy shit or when I get into a trial or something and I go back and look at like panels like I gotta you know I be in the, I be in the middle like okay let me look at this a little bit of this a little bit of that I just be like I cannot believe I I I would be screaming and hollering with these motherfuckers right and then of course sometimes I get sucked back in right so that kind of happened today so I but I was in the chat like I refuse well I did get up there fucking fucking for a little bit but I can't I said girl I can't so as far as SD is concerned, he's a lost soul. I even listened to something he t he was talking about. His mother don't talk to him no more. That man, he just needs he, he needs he needs guidance. But um, it's forever. Fuck him. Um, there, there's no apologies. No nothing. I just don't like to deal with people like him. So moving right along. So when we was in S um school mysterious uh live today, I was just. I'm talking about I when I say I got me, it was a good laugh, but it was also sad. Like, I'm like, why do they why are they so bothered by a, a person, like a woman, like, you know, like and, and what that is is just is like I, I don't even like to use the word jealousy, like, because I think it's um clout and jealousy. I like to use it when it's like at the proper times. Okay, but when you see when, like women who are just outright jealous of other women, it just I always want to know why. Like I'm wondering, like who, like who, who raised you, like or why? What have you gone through in your life that makes you jealous of other women? Um, because it's certain things that a person could say that that it's not like you have an issue with the person; you have an issue with something else. So when somebody say, oh, you got to go pay for your BBL, you this, you that, you ain't got this, you ain't got that, you ugly, you this, you that. It's like, oh, girl, 
you have an issue with something else. You're a, the, like the jealous type of girl. And then I, it was like, she was like, I got to And it's the certain things they think is like a flex. You understand? So um, I, I hear them talking about numbers all the time, like as the flex, like, ain't nobody coming over there. Ain't nobody coming over there. You don't get no numbers. We over here. We over this. We there. Like, so you got, you don't understand that. Like, it's people that's watching. Like, we, the people, are watching this nonsense. So I'm always, I, I know that I'm always going to hit. The people that's going to watch me are going to be the free thinkers. They're going to be like people that like to hear the truth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, people that like logical thinkers. Let's just say that. Those are the type of people I'm going to track, right? So I'm more so uh, on the the leader side. So I probably have content creators that watch me. I'll have, you know, and like, but there's not going to be a bunch of subscribers like uh, watching, uh, unless I'm talking about certain things, right? It's not going to be a bunch of subscribers that's sitting there listening to me because it's not about to be a shit show, okay? Unless it, we have a shit show, right? So at this point, like you put on the show, right? You, you running a play, like you doing those things. So I don't give a fuck about that type of shit. But I do know that it's people like it's, it's somebody sitting in a tunnel in Oklahoma, you know, say in, in a barn somewhere, listening to this country bumpkin ass wild, crazy ghetto shit every goddamn day. They not tuning in the TV. They watching YouTube. Right. So I just laugh at that part when they talk about the numbers part of it. And um, the like, oh, when, when, I, I, when uh, what's his name? We said, oh, Mink is a lion. Child, I, I, if, if if people do alive and not say my name, I'll be fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got to say nothing about me. I'm over here chilling. You feel me? If I want to pop my shit and go to fuck off, we, we already know. What, you know what I'm saying? Not even go to fuck off. If I want if I want to turn this, if I want to turn this motherfucker up, I turn this bitch up. You understand? So, but, um. I was just listening to how it, you got Lady Wu up there, you got Dusty Ass eighty eight up there, you got uh, South Dallas up there, and they just screaming and yelling at the motherfucking comments. Okay, they screaming at eighty eight explaining why the fuck she not a deadbeat. Okay, uh, you got Wu up there trying to explain away why she ain't got her seven kids, why she got tax money and all of this. Like, I just was like, this is ghetto as fuck. You got 15 CPS cases on the panel, okay? A couple STDs, okay? And I, I did say this in the chat. You had 15 CPS cases, um, uh, uh, a goddamn, uh, 15 uh, CPS cases, um, a couple STDs, um and um and a, a, a man bitch okay and, and then some just some misguided motherfuckers then you got straight like that coming in that motherfucker spazzing the fuck out okay and he he and 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 and, and uh what's his name it's straight like that was up there he was telling a lot of truths and they was like and, and the crazy part is they're like oh he on drugs he on this they going crazy i'm talking about straight like that was fucking them up they was out of their body today do you hear me i'm talking about out of their motherfucking body bro i was done laughing okay then i go and hit the panel because i hear what sd's talking about right so he talking about how lame i am and then i hit the mother like man why don't you why are you mad at me I'm, and I, yeah, if you didn't hear it, I did go the fuck off. But then, he like, man, God didn't know you felt like that about me. Yeah, protection. You got, yeah, protection orders, ankle monitors, food stamp fraud. Like, yes, yes. You got CPS cases on it. I was like, this looks like the unemployment line. Like, all of you motherfuckers is unemployed and doing bad. Okay? And, and swear, a motherfuckers hating on you, right? So I was just, the panel was just like, oh God, this, it was funky. It was like, child, is this the, am I in the social security office? What the fuck is going on? And they was just, nah, 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 nah. they was going, oh my God. Everything I typed, they was just, oh, so you talking about me. Nah, 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 nah. They was going, I said, baby, y'all need to stay on your own panels. Because if y'all go somewhere safe where motherfucker can really talk, speak their mind, baby, it's going to get ugly. So. After that, you know, Cracky, Roy uh, went live. 
right? And she was talking about how everybody talk about her. I just be like, where did this be? <laughs> so, because y'all know I watch my ops, right? And I ain't really got no ops, but y'all know I, I watch everybody, okay? So, I was like, what? So, I had, I had like, uh, tuned out and then as he was calling my phone sir you can i'm about to block you don't call me do not call me because then if i get to call him back y'all gonna say i'm a stalker don't call my motherfucking phone nigga if that's over and done with i don't fuck with you you're gone done love but my hand. so so girl so i'm y'all so i'm over here listening to cracky girl so y'all know how my baby daddy hit the panel the other day and we had our little conversation Girl, yeah, I mean, girls and guys, y'all, her baby daddy hit the motherfucking bed. <laughs> and my mouth was like, like, I, I, I was just like, I, I was just like, what? couldn't believe it but the crazy part is because you be wondering like why bitches be jealous like and women be jealous right and it be because of what the fuck they done went through in their life for real and i cannot stand when a motherfucker put that shit on the next person like so what i got out of the baby daddy on live was this Right. Now I done heard everything that Cracky got to say about everybody. And I don't understand why she's I could for the for the life of me, I could not understand why she was so hell bent on Ashley. And it was very and I'm not saying this to take up Ashley, but it was just like I'm just saying I could not for the life of me understand why they were so it was like this this, this weird like ah, when it kinda Ashley like it's I couldn't get it. I didn't get it. And even with me, like the things she would say about me, I'm like, girl, you don't you do not know me. And then how like <sighs> okay. So what I got out of it, and y'all can tell me if I'm wrong, right? If I'm if I'm right or wrong. And then I'm looking at like like you y'all got a mother on here that y'all y'all when people be like, oh, cause I'm a good woman, I'm this and I'm that, and I'm just like no, you're not, girl. Oh, did I tell y'all? She was over there. They was over there talking about she had shit. I got a brand new 2024 Kia. I said, bitch, get me the fuck out of here. I got a brand new 2024 Kia. I was like, girl, go sit the fuck down. Shut up. But I was laughing. I'm calling them the Kia boys. So the Kia boys was over there like, she dragging, um, she dragging, um, she said she's talking about how much she ignores people and she don't got nothing to say. She never go live on nobody as she's going live on them. OK, as she's going live and speaking on people that she says she don't speak about. That was over and the baby daddy hit the motherfucking link, right? And it started out, I, can, I, I must admit, it was a great conversation. It started out as. He was like, you know, you, you, you know, he hit the link because he's like, no, nah, tell the story the right way. And I'm like, hold up. Oh, damn, that's the baby daddy, right? So it started out like a good little conversation, but she had to. Now, this is the same girl. And I'm like, yeah, I got I got one baby daddy, three kids, one baby daddy, one baby daddy. But then this is the same, also the same girl that says, I, let me. She, she, they, they are so hell bent on. Yeah, you were just a baby mama. He didn't know you. He, you just a baby mama. He wasn't with you. He wasn't with you. He was with her. He was with that. He was with him. Ah. Right. The baby daddy, they come on there, and what we find out is that <laughs> it's like when people be explaining shit. They be like, "Did you just hear what the fuck you just said?" So you went here running your motherfucking mouth, and. This is your situation. Your mother's on here talking about how she raised y'all. And every time y'all open your mouth and explain some shit, after y'all done try to drag somebody for their situation, 
So the bitch said, let me tell you what the bitch said. The, the, the baby daddy had a girlfriend, right? The baby daddy had a girlfriend. Okay. She was first she told the story like, yeah, because we um I got pregnant with my baby at the, at the first two months. Um, because I was in love and I, I had fell in love with him and da, 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 da. she was telling the story and then he came in to correct the story. I was like, yo, <laughs> yo, yes, it was cringy. He came in to correct the story, like, nah. It was no, basically, he was like, she said, because I was I was dealing with him and he had you know he had got a girl when he wasn't trying to leave her. No, Kia. It, no, what the the story was that you had a baby daddy. No, you 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 met a nigga. It started out then it was like you was in love. Then okay, I gotta get back because it was so many. With the story that she told was like oh yeah because my baby daddy I was with him for five years. And, you know, it was a girl that he just wouldn't stop messing with. Okay. But the baby daddy, like, no. I had a girlfriend when I met you. Okay. And I was just fucking you. And he also said, like, I wasn't. But he, the way she told the story was like, oh, we were in love. And he just wouldn't leave girls alone. No. You got into a situation with a nigga that you were fucking, right? Not only were you fucking, you was living with your mama. <laughs> you was living with your mama, fucking a nigga, and got pregnant. You fucking a nigga with a girlfriend and got pregnant, right? She felt like, like, so this is what I'm saying when I'm like, so either they slow, or they was raised fucked up. She felt like the nigga was supposed to Lead. He, she said, I waited for five years for you to leave the girlfriend that you was with when you met me. Right? You, so five years and three kids later, you realize that he wasn't going to leave the baby mama. I mean, the, mm -mm, the girlfriend. So he gets up there and explains that he, I, I wasn't in love with you. I was just fucking you. And you got pregnant. Right, uh, you can't make this up. He got up there. She made it seem to me. She made it seem like it was like a love story, or some just like a normal situation. And girl, he just wouldn't leave a girl alone. What? No, you knew that you were dealing with a man who was with a girl, a woman. Right? That he he did not, would not, could not spend the night at your house because he would go home every night. So he also said that y'all matter of fact I screen recorded it just in case a motherfucker because it also goes into the Mo3 shit. Um and I was like it's Rainwater said that these things happen. Rainwater just explain what your baby daddy explained. Because Rain would have said what? That y'all was trying to get your baby daddies mad. Right? But that shit was so embarrassing. AZ King on guard. He said, I was just fucking you. You got pregnant. First of all, you got pregnant with a nigga that you only known for two months. Then it went from two months to one month. The real thing, the real story is one month. A nigga that had a girlfriend you got pregnant by. Not only did you get pregnant by him, but he ghosted you, right? And then you, he, you started playing on the girlfriend's phone, right? But you knew he had a girlfriend, so you start playing on his girlfriend's phone, just like you was playing with, on Ashley's phone, Cracky. You was playing on a girlfriend's phone. You wanted to fight her. Your baby daddy said, why would you want to fight her? She didn't know nothing about, like, what? Why would you want to fight her? He, first of all, what also cool, my, he said, she said, um, he said, yeah, because we would never be back together. She said, why not? He was like, what? <laughs> he was like, what? We would never be back together. Like, fuck no. The mama should be ashamed of how she raised them. Absolutely. Loyal for five years to someone else's man. Now, 
I ain't the one to judge. Right. But when you judging other people and you out here speaking on other people so boldly as if girl. So let me play it for y'all because y'all got to hear it to so believe it. Hold on. Because I had to screen record this part. I swear to God. In some parts, I just had to go back and say, wait, I got to screen record this. Trying to leave, but you was always coming back. You a motherfucker lie, nigga. You a liar. Yo, Jack, I ain't even want keys. Trying to leave, but you was always coming back. You a motherfucker. She said, he said, he tells you that he didn't even want kids. And that you were just a fuck. Right? Right? He didn't want kids. So I'm trying to understand in your mind, right? Because you get one, y'all, you, your sisters, and your mama. Get on this motherfucking app. And when it come to Ashley, they be like, three don't, don't even claim the baby. You need a DNA test. You need a DNA test. But you get on, your baby daddy get on here and he wanted a DNA test. Your baby daddy wanted a DNA test. The one you said you only got one baby daddy, three kids. Your baby daddy comes on here and says that he wanted a DNA test for your kids. Vote him. Lie, nigga. You a liar. Your mama don't know that. Every time I tried to leave, I ended up pregnant. Every time she tried to leave, she ended up pregnant. So within the first two months of you meeting, but you said a month, in the first month of you meeting a nigga that had a girlfriend, right? That you wanted, you wanted so badly for him to leave her. You wind up pregnant. But you said, okay. You ended up. Jake, I ain't one keys. Well, you a lot. I did. When we had Nana, you didn't. No, I ran for them. So the first baby he didn't want to have. We, we you gonna get a abortion with Digi. You said no. You I, was said, gonna, yeah. I was gonna get an abortion with him. No. I, I was in a relationship, so why would I was trying to have another kid on old girl? So you had one baby by him. He didn't leave his girl. You called the girl and everything, right? You calling the girl. <clears throat> you calling the girl. You even still look. You even look up his old girl's Facebook. But you said it was crazy for Ashley to be following Devin. But you still find the ba the girlfriend that your baby daddy had. You still look up on Facebook and you said you, and she got a better nigga than your baby daddy. That's what you said. That's what you said. That's what you said. Your baby daddy's girlfriend that he was with before you that he wouldn't leave for you. Hey, you said she done left, moved on, and got a better nigga than your baby daddy. But you you but you call everybody else a stalker, but you still he not even with her. You got three kids later, you still looking at the girl Facebook. God damn bitch. But I'm just saying that this is like this is where you see the root of jealousy. Like this girl was traumatized, okay. She was traumatized so bad because she had three kids by a nigga with a girlfriend, okay? And she was playing on the girlfriend, harassing the girl, harassing the girlfriend. But the nigga that you fucking leaving your house every night to go home. I'm trying to understand like who, I can't say who raised you because we see who raised you. She up on YouTube every day. I'm trying to understand the, the the root of the jealousy. The root of the jealousy. But it was this this live right here helped me understand why they behaved the way they did. Then and it's it's almost like it's like a uh, what is it like a psychological like I just it's, it's like you learn people. I don't give a fuck about the girl, but it's very interesting to see how women behave. And when they hate on other women or um, have problems with other women, it'd be really a it's a it's a root cause to that of who you are as a woman and who rate who and how you were raised as a woman for real shit. It's people on this app that they be running their mouth, running their mouth, but then you go to what their situation is, and it's like what? And I knew that it's like it was already fucked up with Nana. So it was. I, I so mean, apparently, Nana is the first child that she got pregnant with. The first month she met this man. On her point, not on my point. But I was like, not. I, I was like, yeah, I ain't gonna have no, 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 another kid on her like that. 
You know what I'm saying? It's, I feel like that was fucked up, even though I didn't love her like that, but I feel fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I didn't want to have the only one I was like, I was Kamaya because we was together when we made her. So apparently that's the third child. He's telling her on live, the only one I was okay with you having was the third one because we was together. But the first two, I ain't want to have them kids. But you on here harassing somebody else's baby mama. Like for real, you be stalking her. When the day her baby daddy died, you and your raggedy ass sisters was really out this motherfucker texting her all kind of shit. But, but, but I want y'all to hear what the baby daddy said because it was so eerily similar. So I didn't want no kids, but she, I love my dumb now like she is. Like I'm gonna have it no other way. But and that's what you're supposed to say after you say you wanted to abort your kids and you didn't want them. <laughs> I wouldn't have it no way now. I mean, I love them now, but bitch, I ain't want to have none of them motherfucking kids. You gotta tell these people too, man, because you be lying. You be on some motion. You try to make me. And you know what's so crazy? You talk. I done heard you say a lot of shit about me on her. But you ain't talking about your past relationship about uh, what you went through. Mm. Like, you, 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 you don't never. You don't. I say you don't never talk about your past relationship. Um, and apparently, apparently, um, Cracky had um started fucking with mo three's friend mm -hmm. and the baby daddy said bitch you started acting funny when you was fucking with mo three friend mm -hmm. but he put you through way more shit than i put you through that's what the baby daddy said like you don't tell people nothing about what you just say i got hurt like you don't tell them like about what you talk about me about I got niggas from so you talking to your baby daddy about what another nigga, right? But you he like just like how they get on here, they speak about Mo three, but they never speak about Devin. They never speak about Devin, but they speak about Mo three. Like bitch, you got a whole baby daddy, bitch. That was the killer. Oh, I, I nah, I ain't put you through half. I got Yes. You heard him. I ain't put you through half the shit this nigga put you through. You was worse than him. How was he worse? How was he worse? And you got with a nigga with a girlfriend and had a baby within the first month knowing he had a girlfriend. Babies don't keep men. But, oh my God. Like, <laughs> I was worse than him. Boy, you crazy as hell. <laughs> But if that's how you want to mm. live. You want to live with a lie like that. That's cool. That's something you got to draw on. Not me. Mm. Baby, he said if you want to live with a lie like that. Both of y'all put me up. It's a lot of shit that I want to accept from the next man that I want. It be that hostility. You don't want to accept nothing from no man. Baby, one thing I know. One thing I know is if you accepted a man with a girlfriend that had three babies by him. Three. Three, and he still and stayed for five years. It's a lot you would accept from a man. Um, you probably your mother said something about some counseling. It seems like you bitches need some real motherfucking counseling because you take your frustrations out on the things that these niggas done done to y'all and y'all lifestyles and the way y'all was raised out on other people. That's what it seems like to me because I could not imagine having a baby by a nigga in a month that had a girlfriend. And I, I wait for five years to uh, to meet. Uh, mm, let me let me let y'all hear what he said. I don't feel like he, nah. feel like he fucked you up because he had it understood from the beginning. Nah, yeah, you already knew he was a boy. He was about from the beginning. That's what nah. I was doing. And you you going you, you, you 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 based off your hate for him? You don't. You don't. I don't. Um, See, listen, you going based off your hate for him? So why would he have hate for this man? Because he just told you. Just he just said. He knows so much because of what you told him, right? Right? He knows so much about the man because of what you told your baby daddy about him. Right? Okay. So, again, 
this this situation with this baby dad is explaining. I will. I, I'm just wondering. I wonder. I be, I was like, I wonder what Devin would have to say that Jossie was doing when it came to Mo three, because this had to be all around the same time. <laughs> I would. I'd agree so much. It, it ain't that nigga. I don't have no hate for that nigga. That's what you think you want me. See, you want us to crash. Now you want me and that nigga to fight, kill. No, we. Why, why would I want that? Remember. So he said he don't got no hate, but she said that, and she always said that y'all hate people so much, y'all hate so much, cause you see, um, these type of women are be the ones that be trying to make a nigga jealous and mad and crash out, and that's exactly what Rainwater said. Rainwater was like, like my overall as far as the whole Mo three shit, I feel as though Josh was trying to make make her baby daddy jealous. I do. And he was, she was, she was trying to make her baby daddy with Mo three, right? So, Vanna said that same exact thing, right? You never know what she was telling her baby daddy about Mo three. You never know that. Because you want to do that. that. You, you I don't want to do that. Because you feel like he fucked up your family. So we got to speak back. I know he never did. You did. You, you said, said you told him that he fucked up your family. No, I never told that nigga that. Yes, you I did. Said, you I told, told him, him he was in a way he was fucked up your family. I said, he, yeah, I said, I said, bro, you, yeah, you is. Yeah, I did tell him that you fucking up, you fucking with my family. I didn't say you fucking it up, you fucking with my family. But... My whole thing is that at the same time in the beginning, I feel like that's what you wanted. You wanted me to be like how he was to you. I changed when I changed. No, I want I, he just gave me the stuff that you was in the beginning, he gave me the stuff that you wanted. Everything aligned to me. Everything that I wanted to do with you, we was able to do. Yeah, he yeah, so, you tell you telling a nigga exactly how to play. That's exactly how he played with you. My baby yeah. daddy ain't doing it, my baby daddy ain't doing it. Guess what? I'ma do this. I'ma go ahead and play with this girl because she's telling me everything. Mm, facts. Man, this nigga ain't doing so I'ma do it. Guess what? That's he right, somebody. He ain't gonna never take accountability for what he did. Like mm -hmm. it's just like I just got up one day and was like, Oh well, I'm gonna go over here and mess this dude. Like no. Girl, you had a a baby by a nigga with a girlfriend and then had another one thinking that he was gonna leave her. Oh, it wasn't there because no, it in a relationship, I'm loyal as fuck. Like, you get what you put out with me, Jackie. You were never loyal, baby. Yeah, how wasn't I loyal? You were messing with that other nigga, then you were messing with a couple of more niggas. A come couple on, of more niggas. <laughs> come on, like, come on, we're not gonna you? put we not even gonna. The first time I came over your house, a nigga pulled up. It gave gave you some weed. He was like, "What? That was my weed, like, man." Nah, he nah, he was like, "This it fucked me up because nigga like that. You got a nigga sitting right here. You asked me for weed. I'm like, God damn. My sitting right here. You asked me for weed. I'm like, God damn. My and thing is that was my weed, man. But he was trying to talk to me, but I never like talked to him. That was just girl. Oh, boy. Other other boy, he never had no kind of conversations, relations, nothing. I just kind of weed and he pulled up. Oh boy, oh boy, stayed in the picture. Like he stayed in the picture. Oh, girl, these some I dangerous ass bitches. The name, like the name with the D? D uh, so don't you could tell them what you did in the past, like you don't have. If you got a lie about shit now, like that means you ain't you ain't grown. I'm tell baby he baby. Ain't no way. I'm telling man what I did in the past. I didn't cheat. You can't find cheat. You can't find How do you think cheat. we had to get up? Man, look. Man, you want Child, to get that DNA test. Nigga, I knew who my the, the daddy of. Man, you wanted to get that DNA test. Nigga, I knew who my the. the, the Man, you wanted to get that DNA test. Nigga, I knew who my the, the daddy of my. So what you, was. okay, since you let that out there. Man, you wanted to get that DNA test, nigga. I know who my the, the daddy of my. This girl be over here telling uh, this this young lady that she does not know that she needs to get a DNA test because your baby daddy wanted a DNA test for your kids. Mm. 
That ain't three, baby. That ain't three, baby. Mm. Okay, since you let that out there, what you tell that nigga? What I tell him? What you, I, I still got the pictures in my old phone, Jay. Mm, mm, mm. What I so tell him? That it could be a possibility. I was just don't say some shit. I knew that. So you telling somebody that it was just a possibility that it was their baby? Child. We didn't even have sex up to Texas. He said, Man, let me, you call that nigga on, he on said, the bottom Projecting like a motherfucker. Girl, this shit was so ghetto. You said sometimes we need. That what that nigga said. Uh, uh-uh. on, on. Lying. Everything I love that nigga said it. Uh-uh. I got DNA says just to prove to you that he was your I didn't ever say it. Uh, your baby daddy wanted to know if you so all this time you screaming and hollering about somebody else's baby not being there, but your baby daddy wanted DNA test for your kids though. Why you in what I mean why why do you sound like it's so when you say it to um Ashley, why do you make it sound so, you know, taboo? You had to do it. I, I ain't never say, oh, I don't know who my baby daddy is. Hell, yeah, nah, I knew from a jump who my baby this daddy is. This is ridiculous. Because I ain't no hoe. I don't just be going around sleeping but with that's niggas. Cool. And that's, cool that, that's cool that you know. Child. That you knew that, but you was playing with it. You was playing with both. You was playing with him. Mm. Even though I don't, I don't like that nigga, but you was playing with that nigga too. You know what baby. I mean? Like you were playing games that you, that you can get people hurt. Mm. Get people hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like you were playing games that you that you can get people hurt. Like and you, you don't, and you don't think you were playing games that can get people hurt. Girl, watch what the baby said. It said so the baby that mm. hell no, cause you knew about it. That don't make you right. Just because I knew no, that doesn't mean I, I was a okay. wait a minute. I ain't even gonna lie. When I heard this, I picture how I went down with three, especially with having a camera in the house. If um, it felt weird hearing this. Yo, I swear to God. I was hoping, like, y'all know, I don't, I haven't really gotten to the Mo3 stuff as far as that is concerned. But when I heard this, I said this was eerily similar. So, uh, even for the bloggers or the people that I don't even like, I hope y'all got that, this live. Because that shit sound crazy. This shit sounded crazy to me. It sounded crazy to me. This nigga kept on saying, he said several times, you was playing games with a nigga that could have got him killed or got, got us hurt. You play, you was, he said, he said that you was trying to get us, you trying to get us to crash out. You keep on saying, you hate him so much. You hate him so much. Like, then he keeps saying, no, I don't hate him. The niggas is actually cool. Like, you know. Hey, Weedy, and I don't say it all the time. I done never said it was right, Jay. Okay, so why do you keep on saying you knew about it? Nigga, that don't mean I was okay with it. I didn't say that. You had to be okay, okay with so it. You, okay you knew about it like I was just okay with it. Because they could have still got somebody hurt. Yeah, you are right. But I didn't I didn't have them to, like I didn't have her playing on your phone. So eerily similar. I didn't have her playing on your phone. Listen. You you was playing on her phone, but she wasn't playing on your phone. Okay, so then it, it, mm. Remember, it was Jackie who was messaging uh, Ashley the day after Mo3 died. Same time, you know, you get somebody hurt. You're, you're playing with somebody's feelings, and you're going back and forth. I what? How you playing with somebody's feelings? Bitch, you knew he had, I mean, you knew he had a girlfriend. What the fuck you playing on her phone for? Why are you playing on the girlfriend phone? Listen. I ain't talking about mentally hurt. I'm talking about physically Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Physically. He he letting you know I ain't talking mentally. I'm talking physically hurt. You playing games with niggas that can get somebody physically hurt. Mm. And he talking about Mo3 homeboy. Like you don't think I want to get that. How many times I told you I'm gonna pull up out there for the house out there in City Hill? For what? Cause of her or me. Because you playing with me. Yeah, yeah, you she on Facebook too slugs and all that, like come on. How she shooting slugs and she the main bitch? He said how she shooting slugs and she the main bitch. What? <laughs> what? He said you're delusional. How is she shooting slugs and she the main bitch? They say, this girl say everybody shooting slugs at her. 
How she shooting slugs and she the main bitch? Child. What this girl didn't think, but she wasn't playing games. Like, like be for real, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. whatever I did, if I did decide to go out and talk to another nigga, it wasn't considered cheating because you had a, you was in a whole nother relationship. Well, this is how you... A whole nother relationship. You knew he was in a whole nother relationship. So what you playing on the girl phone for? feel Jack, that's how you feel but ain't because you ain't. stalking her facebook stalking the facebook talking about she playing this is so eerily similar as a woman you're not supposed to think you're not supposed to think like that huh? but ain't that ain't like yeah, you... whatever i did if i did decide to go out and talk to another nigga it wasn't considered cheating because you had a use in a whole nother relationship well this is how you feel Jack, that's how you feel but ain't that ain't as a woman, you're not supposed to think. You're not even supposed to think like that. Yo, bro, bro kept it so real. Did. Think like that. You thinking because that nigga doing this and they doing this, I'm going to be, I'm gonna just going to be this. I, I ain't no woman going to take no nigga serious that's doing this and doing that in the first well, place. Like, like have, I was just young. You have a, I was young and dumb. That's the only reason why I put up with that shit. And, you young and, what are you now? What's up, um, Jay? Because me and niggas ain't age. I'm not putting up that shit. Your ass got to go. And you got a choice too. You had a choice to stick around or go. Mm. And when you I did, that, it was a problem. No, it wasn't no problem. It's just how you did it. Mm. It's just how you did it. Like you'll be playing with me, I, playing with me and shit like this, losing your key. I gotta pay for the key. You lose your car fucking up. I'm paying to get the car fixed, but mm. you playing with some other nigga. Like a hell, no, I'm not gonna be giving you mm. shit. Then mm. you playing with, you know what I'm saying? You got this other mm. nigga coming. Whatever y'all fucking or whatever. Hell no, I'm not gonna give you shit. What the fuck I look like helping you out and then you playing with something, you playing with some other nigga. And this nigga supposed to have more money than me. Y'all heard that? That was another thing that um some other nigga. And this nigga supposed to have more money than me. Nigga. And this nigga supposed to have more money than me. <laughs> that was another thing that um kind of stood out to me. Because I feel as though she was trying to I feel as though you trying to make you 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 trying to make a nigga jealous with a nigga that got more money than him. Um and it seems as though that was the same thing that happened with Jocelyn. She was trying to play with a nigga. She was she was fucking with Mo3. And she was trying to make her baby daddy jealous with a nigga that had more money than him. Hey, like, I don't understand it. Mm. But no, nah, I'm glad that we grew from there. I think we, I think I've got to grew from it. I don't know. No grudges against you, man. I don't have no grudges. This at the end of the day, I know karma motherfucker. Like I deserve everything that happened mm. because I did, I did girls wrong, I did you wrong in the beginning, I did her wrong in the beginning, and I understood. I understand. I understand when it's time when it's time for karma to come back. You get better. Think about how much you're when you got other females out here long. They said you don't make yourself because you don't make yourself. You keep running to brick wall just like this. And then now, nah, why you keep keep telling people I hate that nigga? I don't hate that nigga. I had to grow up and realize like it wasn't that nigga fault. It wasn't that nigga. I was just mad. He and leave her. She keep interrupting, and she keep he keep on saying, "Why you keep saying I hate that nigga? I don't hate that nigga." I I feel like it was it was games that they was playing. Like, oh, you hate him? Like all that all that all that weird ass shit. Like all that trying to make nigga trying to make it seem like niggas hate hating on another nigga or jealous of another nigga. That get. That, that shit, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. I know if you a female, you know what I'm talking about. If you a man, y'all know what I'm talking about. But the way this shit, the way he explained that shit, I swear on anything. I was like, this is this is how y'all are as they sisters. You're not going, the way that they explained the shit, he was like, he was even explaining like, um, you know, it was like, cool. It could kind of be addictive that, you know, a, a, a chick with, some, with, with family or whatever, you know, you got sisters. But he like, if they was in an argument, the sisters and, and the whole family would come over there. She put them out and shit like that. Like, I can only admit, like, yo, that shit was real crazy to me. That shit was real crazy to me, but it was so eerily similar. And they talking about, Mo, they talking about one of the Mo3 homeboys. And 
what Rain would have said was, y'all was fucking with mo three homeboys trying to make y'all baby daddies mad. And what the baby daddy just said sounds like exactly what the fuck happened with Jossie. Am I am I tripping? Damn, I gotta go get Dylan, y'all. What's up, Jay? Our girl Jade is in the building, but um, yeah, I just, I just like that shit was so eerily similar. Like, and I'm, I'm glad. I don't know who that was in the. Uh, I think the only one twenty three. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm wondering if anybody else felt like that. And again, I don't like y'all. Y'all don't like me, but I know that there's people that do be like covering the shit. You said, do I need somebody to come up? Um, yeah, if y'all want to um, chit-chat about this, because I'm just wondering, like, what, first of all, I just felt like it was it was so, like, um, I'm, I'm mad I got to go. I mean, I, I'm not mad I got to go get Dylan, but no, I let him go to his little friend house, and they ready now, and he got school on. It's kind of late. But... Yeah. Uh, travel. We not about to travel. We not about to do that feet shit today. Oh damn! I forgot my thing don't work no more. Hopefully my phone. I might have to just talk to y'all from my phone because I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, thank you, such a fucking lady. <laughs> she knows I'm coming. Oh, you know I'm coming. Hunt me. Hold on. I mean, it's hot. And I'm going to turn my air on, y'all. This conversation just, it got hot, honey. Hunt I missed all of that tea. And, um, Nikki, I don't think they want to know. Because folk, they, they would have been saying it in the chat or saying something because it's very telling. Like, all of this is very telling. It's weird because it's like, uh, it's identical. <laughs> like, I mean, and then he basically saw half the story. You was trying to get people hurt. Like, what? Somebody did get hurt. Somebody got worse than hurt. The heck? You've been, y'all been doing this. Like, this is weird. Very weird. But then everybody, oh, y'all, y'all, um, y'all, y'all, um, so y'all cloud chase, cloud, huh? We been here. Y'all follow, huh? We was already here. We don't know you. You just came on this motherfucker back, 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 back. <laughs> honey, I can't. It's not for. It's it's just too much for me, honey. It's hot. Hey y'all. Yeah. Hey ladies. Hey, 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 hey Mika. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, so oh, I know, hey. oh. I know I know you and I we watched we did watch it. We was watch, like watching it. You going out, baby. 
Oh, let me look at the chick. 20 black suburbs. I know, she just, uh, she just stopped talking. I said, what happened? What you want to <laughs> Yeah, we was watching it together. Hey, chat. We was watching it together. And let me tell you, when I say my jaw dropped, bottom lip got dry, tongue rolled back, I was astonished. I was behooved. Baby, my oh, spirit no. had removed from the situation. I could not believe. Let me tell you something. That baby daddy embarrassed her, and she didn't even realize it. She, she sat up there. It, that nigga been dragging her by her two front teeth for so long. She numb to it, y'all. She numb, y'all. She didn't see no problem on the shit. That, wait a minute. She said she ain't wait, talked wait, to him wait. in two years. Yeah, you know, Mika said that she going to come back. Fly, Fly Rebel said, Jay, this was on Jackie's panel. The baby daddy confessed his love. He definitely did not confess his love. Hey, I see everybody. Hey, y'all, th thanks uh, to whoever gifts the memberships and everybody welcome y'all to who, you know, got their membership. But, welcome, um, no, welcome, did not welcome. confess my love. That, I don't know what you heard, baby. I didn't hear love. I heard him say, I had a girl. Girl, I, I, I girl. heard desperation. <laughs> I heard restoration. I heard a lot of things, but love was never one. He said, and I quote, it wasn't your face or your sex. <laughs> you gonna say that out loud? You gonna say it out loud? Three oh, babies wow. later, out loud, you gonna say the pussy was trash and the face is ass? Oh my God. Who is this? Oh, this is oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like you the one that you the one gets in the memberships. Thank you. Thank you, now. Thank you, boo. <laughs> Listen. Baby. I, 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 I was waiting to get to that part because when you told me that, baby, I said she lied. <laughs> you thought I listen. I, <laughs> Listen, she had three babies on some bottle payment. It wasn't even good. Oh, wait, you were supposed wait, to wait. take the condom off of that dick, baby. He wasn't even yours. You oh, were going to take the condom. Uh -uh. What is that? Did y'all? But and then did y'all catch the part where he was like, "I was dealing with you not because of your looks or because of your coochie, but just because of your personality." Like, what? Uh. Uh, what other way can you say that she was you you're not cute, <laughs> but I was fucking with you. That's the only way you can say My baby mama ugly. came ahead in her apartment and he saw her sitting on another nigga lap do wait, doing freaky ass Bro, what? Now, I, 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 yeah, I'm just not. I, I was late to the party, so I, I didn't get to hear all that. But I did hear something about the camera part, but I didn't hear that she was doing something freak. But um, and she was about to, beat, yeah, she was, so, she was about to beat the daughter because she had given some, another dude her phone number. He was like, like she put him, she put him out because or the whole family came over there. She basically was about to talk to somebody at the gas station or something like that, and the daughter told her father. And she was going to spank the daughter for telling the father. And he was he was mad about it. He was like, what, you know what I'm saying? He was like, nah. But he said the whole family came over there and she put him out. Like, Wait a minute. What you going to be right, on the what? baby paw? He was like. Because you ain't sleeping like, enough to pass your number off. Wait a minute. I don't know if I heard that right. Yes, she was going to beat her daughter because her daughter was going to tell her daddy what she seen her mama doing. And I mean, that would have been a good daughter. I mean, she's a little girl. She ain't supposed to be in grown folks' business. But when you put the business in her face, she should report what she's seen. That's what we tell our kids to do, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. My daughter would have told on me. <laughs> Listen, you do you know what this we at the gas station on such and such street right now. What? <laughs> that ain't nothing to be no baby. <laughs> they ended up breaking up because she was gonna whoop that little girl and he had to intervene. Thank you. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She said he was pimping. Oh, 
So How she's you a woman. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, man. Pregnant. Oh. <laughs> wait a minute. He wasn't even your trick. Wait a minute. What part of the game is this? But y'all oh, remember man. when they were trying to say that see they that uh I think they said that C B said that one of the sisters was being a prostitute or something. Wow. Uh, listen, <laughs> listen, Roy was trying to compete with the with the girlfriend, but didn't understand the girlfriend was probably his bottom, his best, his his through and through, his thick and thin. She didn't even realize. Right. Why she wouldn't have no baby? Because the baby wasn't a part of their deal. Right, but she. Not, not yeah, that's how he still was acting with condoms. Like, because, I mean, y'all was together but, for a month. But not only that, but she said, but listen, so she said that, um, that they, the, the, the she was like, yeah, and she won. I'm talking about the whole jealousy aspect of it. Yeah. Because it was like, she really was talking about the yeah. He said, leave her because. Stability, like you breaking up real bad. Yeah, you sound like a robot. You you breaking up real bad. I I caught that you said. Okay, okay, y'all. I'm gonna repeat it. Give me a second. Okay. Just let me know. Because I was finna bring that point up too. Woo! A self admitted loser (laughs) is the worst. But when she said, she said, because I ain't even really, for real, I ain't even dragging her. I'm just saying, like, that shit was, like, just showing me why, why y'all be so, like, why females be so, like, the, their life that, that they live and the things that they do with niggas, they think that that shit is, like, normal. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they really think that that's okay and it's normal. And it, 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 it saddens me that their mother had so many girls because um, the way that y'all feel about yourselves she was like i to show you that i could be the woman that she wanted me to be i got an apartment apartment she was like, I, I moved out of my own and i moved out of my own so i could show you that i was gonna be the i could be the woman that she wanted me to be and i was Same. like so with the girl so she's thinking what the girl got that she don't got is uh an apartment because she ain't got nowhere you know what i'm saying like you it's not <laughs> like he might have hit on one of those lines. No, it's not you. It's me. <laughs> and she said, she did. She said but she was like, and then the dude, he was like, um, the baby daddy was like, basically like, you didn't have nothing. But she did. And 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 I'm not and and, and then he didn't have a car. And I'm not like uh, he didn't have a Wait, car. He he was driving. The man didn't have a car? No, he was driving oh, the girl. Oh, what that mean? He was driving the girl from the car. <laughs> but the funny thing is, I heard I heard Cracky say that she had bought a nigga a car before. So I'm one I don't know how true that is, but it seems like she was talking about make you know what I'm saying what what that female did. But I'm just saying, like, for you, like that shit was so fucking sad, bro. Like, I was like, yo, I don't give a fuck how young. You she, then a, the, the the mother like the, then a mother get up there. She was talking about how she was um she wanted her her daughter to live with her and or, or, or and until they you know went to school and stuff. I just be like, what this shit is so fucking ghetto. Like not even ghetto, y'all. Like I ain't saying like you know like I'm not saying that uh you know certain things don't happen how you meet kids and certain things in relationships, but it's just like for you to. For you to get on here and run your mouth about people, about, my the whole thing is about like I hear what I mainly hear what they say about Ashley. So I'm just like, but your situation, you putting your situation on on her. Exactly, and, that's how it usually is when there ha- when there's hate. You have you don't know this person. You just got you envying this person because they got something that you want. They they you right. you want to be who they are, so you envy them. So you have to lie and tell people stuff about them to make them look bad, and so people get to know them and see the actual truth, or get to know you and see who you are and see that you were talking about yourself. Because hunty, I mean. Yeah, well, we wanted to get a blood test. I mean, I knew who my we. 
I mean, why would we want a blood test if we know who our, our baby daddy is? Like, we wouldn't need that. Like, I mean, we, you know, we know that we were sleeping and we know that I wasn't doing nothing and you know that you was with me and, you know, we did, you know what's going on. But you all the time, you know that. No, you need to get a blood test. You need to get a, because that ain't it. What? And your baby that came on there and said, what? He they wanted, he didn't want them. didn't want the kids. He did not want them kids. He like, did, you should have prepped him before you came on here because you said that you've been on this, this, uh, what's this called? This, uh, the, this little YouTube thing for years. So you should have prepped him before you did, like 88 usually does or whatever she, y'all call. She usually, you know, prep people with lies. You should have done that because, hunty, you got to be ready. <laughs> she said she been in the class for three years. We know that's a lie. You couldn't stay off of off the radar when you was a sneaky link. <laughs> you, we know you ain't been in the club. You called that girlfriend when he ghosted you by your admission. That man ghosted you on that first pregnancy. So you went up, found her, called her, and even she didn't give a fuck about the first baby. That is sad. What's wrong? What's my food? It's sad. Okay. Mm -hmm. like, like, what? No, he didn't want to have a baby. Yeah, and then it's like, um, it's like y'all, y'all, I feel like calling me. Dang, I'll be right back, y'all. Okay. She's still operating in this function and don't even realize it. <laughs> you no. went from competing with his known about girlfriend to competing with some hoes that he pimping. We know you ain't got no self worth, and and it's pro and it's more of your parents' fault than he is. He just met you. He didn't create you. He didn't create them insecurities that you have. He just he just highlighted them with y'all. And she admitted she has never been in a relationship where the man was solely for her. Yo, that's yo. Listen, ladies, don't do that to yourself. I mean, if, if you feel like you can't find a good man for you, the other people have been there before. But but going with everybody else's man to have a piece of man for a little bit of time is way. Just don't degrade yourself like that ever. And then and then have a baby for him. Oh, my, 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 my. And then think about it. Them kids no. all in the background, you think they didn't hear that? And they sit there talking about daddy. Oh, he was just on the line. But you didn't you didn't put him on the line with his kids? But you ain't, this your first time y'all talking in two years? And y'all got to go down memory lane instead of just, here come talk to your daddy. Yeah, I was just, I mean, well, she didn't say it like, she, you know, he didn't take care of the kids and nothing like that. I don't, I don't, I don't. No, think she, she said, said like we have not talked in two years. It's the first time that we talked. Oh, I didn't hear that. No, no, come on now. Like, and the real reason he, 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 he popped out is because you lying. And he probably tired of listening to you lying and hearing how you going on on the internet. But he had said, but he said that he had been listening to SD. He was like, SD make the show. The parents. Wait, he said what? He said that. He, I mean, because they said that they hadn't talked in two years. Because she was saying it like, I, I, I mean, she was telling. I guess telling him about YouTube. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, wait, they haven't I, talked in I, two years? Because earlier when she was arguing listen. with straight like that, she said that um somebody said something about six flags and she was like, shoot, I, I forgot all about six flags. My kids was with their father. Why y'all worried about my where my kids were or something like that? And then that's when they started saying that he was a uh uh that word. Hold up. Yeah, she was like they said yeah, cause earlier she said they was like, Where your kids? And she said they with their dad. Uh-huh. Yes, I don't know about that, but she honey. Said it. I, listen, I don't know none of her story except for what she said and her baby daddy has said. Today. No, I'm talking about uh, early, I'm talking about today when she was. That was on mysterious oh, panel. Yeah, she did say that. She was like, my my kids with their dad. And, and I was, because I, I typed in there like, oh God, here go another one. 
well, uh, when he called, they was with her. So I guess, okay. Anyway, moving on. Uh, that's what she see, I, not what who see. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just so shocked that you, you having a baby. You, 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 you had three children. You had three babies with somebody else's man. That she, she, and then she stayed with him. He, no, he stayed with her. Wait, 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 wait. Now, now let me get this. But no, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Hold on. Remember, he said that that one of them was going to have to, one of them was going to have to leave him, right? And she was like, she was a girl. She was the type of girl, a female that, um, as long as you, he could cheat, but as long as he don't bring it to my doorstep. So, her way of bringing it to the doorstep was to keep reaching out to the girl, was telling her, like, yeah, you know, because I was about to say, because she doorstep. even said that she talked to the girl recently. Because remember, they was like, uh, are they still together? And she was like, no, because, no, um, she said, no, actually, she said she saw her on Facebook and she said she saw she's the girl stalking on her. Yes, she stalked oh, her. Because I recently. thought she said, I checked on the last time I checked on her. She was actually with somebody yes, else. I thought she said Facebook. Yes, I thought she said she okay. No, she said she checked on Facebook. Oh, that sounds stalkerish, but let's go. <laughs> what I said the last time she stalked on her, she she appeared to be happy with a better yeah. nigga than her baby daddy. That's what she said. Like, so you looking checking out the nigga she with and all of that. That is that is. Is she not even with your baby daddy no more? That is crazy. But Despair. you think it's crazy. But you think it's crazy for 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 Ashley to follow the man who's responding. Your your sister, uh, sister's baby daddy, because and they they got some connection, right? Ashley and Devin at this point have some type of connection. He is the person responsible or charged for the unaliving of her baby daddy. So I can see that, that yeah. but. And let me say something when it comes to that because I can't say okay. Let me tell you something. Now, y'all, we we do that all the time. If you my enemy, you my enemy. I'm going to watch you. You're not going to sneak up on me. I'm going to be where you are at all times. Whenever you flinch, I'm going to knock your ass. Just go and go and get you up out of there. That's what we're going to do. You ain't going to have to do nothing off the side. I'm not. You're not going to come up behind me. I'm none of that. You're not sneaking me. None of that. I'm going to sit with you. I'm going to see what you're doing. So her watching him and you didn't kill my. You didn't. You know, eeled off. I'm sorry, eeled my baby daddy. Then yes, absolutely. I'm watching you and your whole family. I'm watching everybody. Yo, I might be your kid friend on Facebook if you look at it. I mean, for real, for real. I'm trying to see what all y'all doing. Cause now my baby ain't got no dog on daddy. Cause you, you, you took him from. So yeah, I need to see what's going on. Child, I started volunteering at your kid's school. You take my baby daddy off. <laughs> I'm gonna be right next to your youngins, okay? I think what throws me <laughs> off is that they try to they, they the the, the convers their conversation pieces are so like blaming everybody else for their like like everybody else like it needs help and, and counseling and all of that like no like you stalker that I I wish I would be going to go look at my baby daddy a girl that he's not even with no more. Like what? I'm not going to look at. Wait, I'm not going to look at nobody. That, wait a minute. If I'm not, if I'm uh, first of all, if I'm the sneaky link, you're my sneaky link too. <laughs> I mean, I, we don't listen. Uh, uh Make sure if you call me, you call and hang up uh, uh, and call private. So I know that this is. Yeah, but I'm not about to all be I looking at him. But she nothing. said, but she said that she, she, she said she was in love with him, right? But how did you confuse being in love with a man? And then she she was upset because she couldn't he couldn't spend a night with her. She was like, I was getting the short end of the stick because he was going home to her every night and I was sleeping by myself. So where do you get where do you get that your baby daddy said the love? You, how did you get in love? What did you fall in daddy, love with? Yeah, the baby <laughs> daddy the baby the baby daddy said that he was just fucking you. Like and he was just coming to your mama house. So you was he was just fucking you like he he said he was he ain't love you or nothing like he said he ain't love you or nothing he had no feelings he ghosted you but you was in love so I'm trying to understand like where that comes in and I'm 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 I'm, I'm very curious to understand why for you, to be you know to be around sisters and your mother and stuff like that how did you how, how did you like 
my, my mother would, I, I just never felt that way. Like, how do you feel that, I don't know, I don't want to say low, but like, how do you feel that fucked up that you could continue to have the baby after baby knowing that? And then like, think was, 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 did the mama ever say, "Baby, you better than this. You can do better than this. You deserve better than this." He ain't. She for said. You. She said that's what they, he didn't. He said that they got a love hate relationship with the mother because the mother was always in the business and all of that. Like the family, all the sisters and everything was always coming over there. And he was like basically hit her one of her. I guess her older sister. Um, her oldest sister uh, is like in a relationship, and he said the reason why that relationship worked was because was because basically they keep family out, out there. Everybody at their business, yeah. Like the nigga kept it a hundred, like. But the, really the part that, the part the part that that I, and I wouldn't honestly, I wasn't even like. I, I was I was listening to it at first because I was just laughing because she was so out of her body. And then when the baby daddy came, it threw me fully by like, huh? And then, you know, I'm I'm looking for the mess. I was like, oh I hope SD hit the lane. This is about to be funny, like, you know. But I didn't know so I didn't know it was about to be that type of thing, you know. I was just but I was I was appalled. Uh, sometimes we don't need to air out every motherfucking thing. She thinking she done she done said enough, and she's uh, she and 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 the stuff that she shouldn't say, she didn't say. Girl, you said way too much. When we co- when it comes down to no, your baby it wasn't daddy, what he, it was it wasn't what he said. It wasn't what she said. It was what he said to me. To me, it was what he was saying. Like he was, and then it was like he he does not. It, it was coming across like he does not like you, right? <laughs> like, At all. It was it was it was given exactly what it was. I fucked around and got you pregnant, and you refused to get rid of the baby. That's what that sounds like. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's exactly what it was. I don't think that's what it sounded like. But, but ladies, if you meet a man <laughs> within eight weeks, leave the condom on. You do not know him. That is stranger danger dingling. Don't make any decisions you can't unmake with a stranger and a dingling. Like danger. On top of he pimping, you know all pimps fuck their hoes. Wrong. They got to make sure the product be right for the tricks. I, I think some of y'all uh, 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 fall in love with the glamorous part of, 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 of prostitution that the TV done made y'all see. And y'all don't know what the real is. <laughs> <laughs> He broke an ugly hole the worst. If we don't, if y'all don't know how to break a bitch, go holler at my cousin. He'll tell you how to break a bitch. That bitch got broken into pieces and she still ain't recovered. Every, no one, that's what she, she looked like. She got heartbreak all over her face, neck and chest. Well, well, I think I heard. Didn't she say they were fighting? Like they used to fight a lot? No, I didn't hear her say that. I did oh, make okay. that assessment. Uh, I could tell. Oh, okay, okay. Come on now. He <laughs> put a camera in your house. He checking to see what, what you do, but he don't really want you. Come on now. He a pimp. But, but, uh, but, but, I mean, it, okay, so was hey, he up there when she said something about, about the camera? Pimp. I ain't never seen a soft-handed pimp in my life. How you gonna check a bitch soft? That's why I feel when your kids get married, we're supposed to get involved with their marriage. We just supposed to stay on the side. Yeah, that that that's marriage. <clears throat> that's when they get married. But um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know for that. Cause mine get married. Hey, don't call me cause I'm coming. I'm about- <laughs> he called Jackie a team player. I was, I was like, <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Jackie is a pale grand baby. She was a pale grand. But she this was is my okay, was he on the panel when she said something about the, the camera? Yes. Oh, but did he I'm, say why he had a camera? Because why you got a camera in somebody's house you don't give a F about? Because he he, he, he he didn't trust her. Uh, and I think it was more about control. You know, Wait, what did he say? a, a Wait, pimp what did he has say? to have control. But no, he said it was a point in time that he did love her, he said. But he said he didn't love her because of her. He loved her because of her kid. Because he, had, he said, when you, had, when you got pregnant, I love you because you're supposed to love the person you, you, you have kids with. Like, because you, like, you my child's mother. He didn't even want no, he didn't even want no kids. so weird to me. <laughs> Can y'all imagine the disappointment that man felt in his chest when he realized <laughs> that he had gotten her pregnant despite his whole situation he had set up, despite that he didn't love that other girl either, but nevertheless, he still chose her openly and fully. <laughs> And he still has a, a certain amount of respect for the other girl. And it seemed like he wasn't, like, with the drama. Like, you know what it is. Why are you calling us? Right. Yeah, and like, I don't think he, that, said, like, not him and the other girl, like, him and the other girl not being together, I don't think that's because he didn't care for her or she didn't care for him. I think it's because Jackie was uh, bothering the girl, and then she found out he cheated, and she left. That's what I think. So he, I think he feels some type of way about that. And then that's why y'all had the last one, and he was like, yeah, that one, I wanted because we were together. Yeah, but, okay, so I heard a, I heard a time frame of three, uh, three years ago is when it supposedly ended with them. I, I don't know if I heard that correct or not. So if I got it yeah, wrong, because she I'm was sorry. Fucking, because, yeah, because that's when she was messing with um, that's when she was messing with um. Okay, that's why I'm gonna go with this a little bit. Now I said, cause I don't, I wasn't there, right? So I can't know for sure. But I said it feels like that sister was saying things to inflame her baby daddy to come around. Right, uh, mm -hmm. right. Okay, that's that's how I felt. Okay, but listening to Jack, baby daddy, I now I know I'm definitely on the right motherfucking track. Y'all mm -hmm. was doing everything to make it be known that you're dealing with this person, that person, niggas running through you. From the same side, from the same click, and y'all supposed to be from this other side, and your baby daddy is, is from this side, and they don't fuck with that side. You hoes did the most, and I am really convinced now. It's, I'm talking about my gut. It's, it's a knot in my gut. My mind made up. You hoes orchestrated that. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. By your jealous spirits. By yeah, your jealous you spirits. They got real bad jealousy. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. To the to the mall three sector. Uh because when these bitches jumped out, y'all thought that was gonna run down everybody's motherfucking business for these hoes. Uh, uh, look what you done did. Look what you done did. Some worthless ass bitches that still worthless ass bitches in their older years. God damn. <laughs> Hi. God oh, damn! I'm so glad that, that kid is in Texas. I, I ain't even lying. Please, please don't never be near a state with me and my kids. I don't want my kids to see your shit, reproduce, date, talk to, text, nothing. Y'all motherfucking. Oh Jesus, what have y'all done, Lord? Ooh. Hey, Hawaii oh, girl. Oh my god! You know that shit was cringy as fuck. Like I was just like, that's why I told I told Nika I was I was like this is about to be messy. I ain't because I'm not even being I'm not even like feeling messy about. It. I really was like, what this shit was like, wow. 
because just to know like like you that they had and like i said when you put that 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 jealous spirit like you've been like okay so you you've been too you've been basically experienced heartbreak by your baby daddy or a dude that you wanted you he don't even he she was like even the uh she was he was like we'll never be he said we'll never be together um and she was like why you say that like oh god like, Wait, what? Girl. yes yes he was like he was like we'll never be together and she was like you never know like he was like oh no uh-uh he, he said it's too much damage that has been done mm -hmm. you and you know what he's saying in code that shit that y'all set up and did you're too flawed to, for me to ever be with bitch uh -huh. you yeah, got he, well, no, in so many words that's what he said because he was like you know y'all was you was doing stuff that could have got somebody hurt and she was like like you was, like, you was playing with me like you, you could have got me hurt and he was like uh no i couldn't like i mean you was the one calling her she didn't know about you like you was a savage like you know you it wasn't me putting you in the the, the line of fire you were putting me in the line of fire trying to get me to beef with this dude and you trying to say i hate him quit saying i hate him because i don't hate that dude i had to grow up and understand it wasn't his fault it was you he said that <laughs> That was crazy. What, uh, what, OG Bobby? Okay, at what age does a mom let her daughters live their life and stay out of their business? First of all, I'm gonna go before I read the rest of that. I'm never doing it. Let me let me tell I'm you never this. Doing it. Them girls was in her house, in her domain, under her roof, still within her grip, reach, and influence. The mammy failed them bastard bitches. However you wrap it, put a bow on top of that. She failed them hoes and left them at the level of hoes. Now, if you want to go finish raising them, be our guest. Because we would, we, we would appreciate it because they raise the people too. Somebody go finish raising them bitches. But they put jackets and all kind of stuff. Like they were trying to say about uh straight like that when they, she was going back and forth. They was like trying to put a jacket on him. Y'all putting all kind of jackets on everybody else. When it seemed like y'all need to be wearing, wearing these coats. Like put your jacket on yourself. Yeah. Them wearing scarves, windbreakers, hoodies. <laughs> and then I'm telling you that SD, you flaw fake fuck nigga. Like how is somebody on the dog on panel? And she said, well, how you know that? Well, SD, now you know you got an uh, expiration date, right? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? The baby daddy right. her, SD had herpes. Why would he want her back now? Well. Yeah, because I think uh, stuff like that told us he to go do something to her, and he was like, I already did it. I did this. I did that earlier, or something like that. Child, I don't know. Listen, the, uh, the girl said she ain't never been in a relationship for real. She does not know what it feels like to have a man to love her, simply just to love her. You but you only you can talk to that that everybody like? else. You turn tell everybody else that who how they how they supposed to talk, think, look, smart, all this other stuff. But you can't even you can't get yourself together. How you supposed to teach you? Yeah, you have you don't know how to be in a relationship because you don't love your dog or stuff. That's why you doing the stuff you doing at the age that you doing it because at this point. But he kept on saying that. He kept on saying, you're not happy with yourself. You're not happy with yourself. Right. He was like, I'm happy with my... You can't be happy. He was like, you can't be happy with yourself. Like Three decades, and all you know how to do is spread your pussy open? Oh, it's my God. Do you know it's, it's like around? Do you know it's love around? Do you know that lust doesn't exist at every corner and every look? Like, Damn. Like what? Like okay, now now I'm wondering what does she offer a nigga when she show up trying to get with a nigga? You must be offering everything in the kitchen, second the nigga still say no, thank you. Well, no, because she said that. Uh, well, her mom told her that she you don't supposed to have to do nothing for no dude. That's why she you know 
ain't don't know nothing about it and she wasn't trying to do nothing for her baby daddy and that's why she didn't get to keep him and the other girl did because she wasn't take, gonna take care of him and she was but um I don't think that uh she offered and nothing the fact, but the uh, but the fact, the fact that girl did everything for him he still let her <laughs> <laughs> that's the <laughs> <laughs> okay. You think oh, you to know to me? Because God, that's a lot of if you ask me, I feel like that's a lot of respect that he still has for that woman. Because if he didn't, if y'all they not together no more, so she say so he'd be like, not nah, what the hell you talking nah, I did I took care of myself. I have my own house. I took care of her. He's still allowing her to put the good stuff on her name and letting her still keep the dog on like yeah, she was that woman. You give give her, her title, she was that woman. You no 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 you was not my woman. <laughs> she was like right, like you could tell if it was a baby that was gonna be involved coming out of something, he wanted it with the other woman. <laughs> Listen, do you know how many other sneaky links and side bitches that he had that he would have chose over you, over Jack? And Jack knew that. That's why well, Jack didn't know all back. After getting fucked wrong. That's why she laid in the back with her knees up for 15 minutes at a time. That's why she was always conveniently sleepy every time he fucked her so she could get pregnant and lay there with that nut all up in her. Uh -uh. But the woman with her head on the shoulder said, mm -mm, I'm not doing that because, like, yeah, yeah, I love you, but shit, you're not just for me, so I can, I'm going to have a baby just for you. Uh -huh. That makes sense. Then she was getting harassed and, and, and being told everything. So, yeah, uh -uh, there was no way around that. She was walking away. That's why by the third baby, they were together because you didn't got the other girl. She, she ain't going for it. She like, uh, -uh this girl, she got a baby, too. Oh, you got to go. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> now y'all together, and that's then y'all got, you got pregnant again. Because she tried to say, every time I tried to leave, I got pregnant. Huh? No. Every time well, he tried to leave, <laughs> I got pregnant. And, and you probably was getting pregnant and then telling him you pregnant and then let him nut in you for real, for real, and then really getting pregnant, bitch. <laughs> so we know, we know what these hoes do. Child. These, these hoes. These hoes ain't loyal. Mm. <laughs> these hoes ain't loyal. Boy, they baby daddy said they ain't loyal. Rain say they not loyal. The other niggas say they not loyal. You hoes got and to baby way So it's so we, I'm waiting on see see Rain should have been there because at this point I'm waiting to see you know everybody know I don't like Rain but so what we gonna get his apology because he was saying everything that the dog on baby was saying and you said he was lying and everybody believed you and he was so Rain wasn't gonna pop up because Rain needed it to be in her words and her baby daddy words without anything from him. And they did exactly what Rain needed to do. You know what, you stupid bitch? You came with your baby daddy story, and your baby daddy story just put you a person of interest. Thank you, baby daddy. It definitely that, does. That pimpin' nigga just pimped her. <laughs> Wait, who said he was the pimp though? She did and he did. <sighs> Mm. So if he was a pimp and he had a woman and then the girlfriend, but the girlfriend, the, the, whoever she was to him, she know he got a woman and that he's a pimp. Is she the girlfriend or was she one of the workers? Workers. She was trying to work her way up into his life. You can't play with no pimp unless you're gonna bring him some money. It's, there's no listen. Pimps don't play them games. They don't play love games. He never That's why our ladies, it's okay for you to have your own table, okay? Because, baby, <laughs> you got to have a good head on the shoulders. Of, ain't no man just going to you just because you, I mean, it's pussy everywhere, y'all. Like, it's everywhere. It's, All it's, over. It's, 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 good, it's good cat everywhere. It's pretty cat everywhere. It, it's free cat everywhere. It's free. Okay? <laughs> baby. Yeah. If you think it ain't, it is, okay? <laughs> it's free good and it comes with stress free. Honey. Honey. <laughs> don't don't you ever think that one cootie cat gonna save this world. It ain't.
<laughs> it's not the greatest world. Oh man, I'm just <laughs> you just can't you can't write this shit. This is better than a, a romance novel, a scary movie, a comedy show, a documentary put together. How did Roy and, lo- and then he kept on saying, "If that's the lie you want to keep telling yourself, then okay." Whoa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you ain't gonna say you. <laughs> no, I made ribs. I didn't make pizza. Yeah. You, you wait. You won't win. You won't win. Said who? Kim is fine and thick. <laughs> Thicker than a snicker. <laughs> thank, thank you. Hold on, my um. Whole Netflix for pizza. <laughs> After I have made beef boneless ribs, y'all, are we serious? Oh, yeah. I understand your Sometimes, sometimes they just, they, they just don't care how they make you feel. You know, let, 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 let me go. Let me go over this. Let me go over this. Let me go over this. <laughs> <laughs> It was a 12-hour shift, six hours down, got back up, went back out the door to work, came back, clean, cook, cook, clean. Oh, you know, I, let me not complain, because that ain't none of y'all, that ain't none of y'all bitches. Y'all don't give a shit. All I know is. <laughs> I do, because I understand. All I know is, <laughs> I did not have no baby for no stranger <laughs> dingling, okay? I didn't have no baby by no borrowed PP maker. Okay, uh, everything that I touch belonged to me when I had it. I swear to God, okay. uh, uh, my kids know what's up, Jesus Christ. Uh, they ain't gonna catch, n- oh my lord. I just, you know, I just wonder what a daddy at. I know that daddy's sitting around somewhere, like, you better not, you better not, you better not put me on air. I just pray that don't happen. Just, child, just, leave, just let it go. Just start talking about funny stuff. They need to start doing what's them called skits. Y'all need to do skits. Since our play runners anyway, just do skits and like not skits on people. Like just go outside, go to a store and like go pull up at a, a Popeye's. Remember I was trying to tell me to me. Go to Popeye's and ask for something to say. <laughs> and start going on. <laughs> Y'all need to do that. Y'all need to do pranks and stuff like that. Like because at this point it's like, whoa. Girl, at this point, it's giving. Ghosting is normal for your generation. Like, it's goddamn. It's giving. Like, it's giving, it's giving Wrangling Brothers. It's giving. <laughs> it's giving the Bronner. What, what, what's the black one named? Damn, I forgot they black, the Black Circus name. It's giving Globe Trotters. Bitch, it's giving Globe Trotters. You, <laughs> you, you hoes out here giving Globe Trotters teams. He's holding loyal. <laughs> <laughs> that baby daddy said, I ain't got time for your ugly ass no more. You will not disrupt. How do I do that? Let me look and see. Mm, 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 mm. Let me see. Y'all, I'm, I'm on. Okay, let's see. Am I real loud now, y'all? Or can y'all at least hear me? Oh, we can hear you. Cause baby, I was on thirty two, and I'm said, turn your mic down a little bit, baby. You said it you nice, know what? I like you. So I, I, cause you I, have, I got y'all in my ear. I, ch- I I always got y'all in my ear. So it's like it's just like we on the call. It don't even <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, I sound better. Okay, okay, now I did it just for you. You see how much I like you? I like you. I did it just for you. Cause somebody turn my mic. Tell me turn my mic down, baby. I turn. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That girl, when you said that, it just made me think about her, her, her vocabulary, her vernacular. You know, I can't stand no stupid person. And so she, <laughs> instead of saying she taunted the girlfriend girl! with the first pregnancy, she said she put an R. Taunt. <laughs> a taunt. I taunted. I taunt. Oh, no, bitch. Oh no, bitch! You got three spit spots what? in that did word that don't me? belong. I tried to spell it. How she said? I couldn't spell it. I couldn't spell it. She turned. She turned with a T. She turned with a T. She was she was fucking with it with a turn. She had a hole with a turn. 
<laughs> she had a tourniquet. <laughs> yes, yes. And I watch him call it. She had a motherfucking <laughs> what? <laughs> I say, bitch. That was hilarious. Baby, girl, and I said, drama, baby. The mom came back and said, You know, well, I love him, no disrespect, love him. Baby, you just said, You just sat up here and told the world about how you felt about my baby, and it is, it, it, you basically said it's up and stuck, and you don't got no respect for her, and you, you give your only love kids because you got to, and you know, all that. I don't love you, I don't like you. Like, Imagine you the kids walking you behind her. Baby. Hearing their daddy said, I wanted you to get an abortion. <laughs> right. Like the baby was. Mm-hmm. Well, you can hopefully have she, have, she be having us in her ear. Hopefully she, she be using her earbuds. I hope baby. so. Because, honey, I'd have, I'd have dropped him down, dislocated, okay. located his ass up and, okay. and relocated oh, right his jaw. <laughs> How much for one rib, baby? Well, I only got about nine left. <laughs> so if we do the math, you make some country fried ribs. Um, they country style, they country style cut and boneless, but I don't fry no rib. I did put it in the air fryer, but it don't fry you no. Know. Right. It's still um, it's still cooking. Cause typically you never what had I would a do. Rib? My sister just made beef fried ribs. She like, you want some? I'm like, nah, why would I want some beef that's... Because listen, I got a long love history with beef. Okay? <laughs> and the only beef I know that's good and juicy is a you, hand you know patty <laughs> motherfucking 80-20 out this hole. Right? Okay, but when you... Yeah, but, but beef? Ribs? Fried? You gonna toughen them up? Before you give them to me, I don't like. I, 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 I don't like that kind of crust. Tanisha, you can't get that, baby. She ain't, they ain't even got the ball. Tanisha said, "How much for a bone dip in some sauce?" <laughs> what you want me to give you? No <laughs> you don't want, want to get you a hug. Okay, well, if you don't want to, you don't have to, because you nobody's forced to touch. <laughs> Give me a hug, Julia. He don't want a hug. Give me the mm. hug. I love you. Me too. Mm. Call up, uprise. I ought to tell. Love you too. Wait, Did one real of me made one. Uh, I think that's how it work, uprise. But okay, I'm gonna play. Uh, uh. Oh Lord, I don't even want to have that conversation. Let me tell you I'm gonna let you. I'm just let. I'm just let you but can yeah. say that, but I, I really believe uh, just uh, j- just some uh, amino acids, <laughs> some protein fluid, and an ejaculation <laughs> with an egg is what made me baby. <laughs> A hard dick was the only thing involved in that situation. <laughs> well, no so bones was attached. It was boneless. <laughs> <laughs> and voila, you got a hookah. <laughs> that, was the, that was the juicy beef I thought you was about to talk about. I went to <laughs> you ready for that? I love it. Play something is. But you nice. right though. I, 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 you right though. Uh, uh, Brian, somebody is from your rib. Somebody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now I do think I, I, I can't. I, I like you know. I don't know. Cause I wish you would have drank some down. I I get what you're saying though. You know, I definitely. Support. Jesus, she took half of the macaroni. Well, I guess let me, let me just get a spoon for one and I'll give you the rest. I, I ain't even got to taste it yet. Let me give me get a spoon for one. That's the best bone. Baby Tanisha, the bones need to be so dark and juicy. I don't care what nobody says. <laughs> mm. I made you some. It's good. You know. For tomorrow. You're welcome. Yeah, because I got to work. Um, oh, you might come home. So, oh wait, can you share a rib? Um, oh yeah, I like sharing. 
I know that sounds stupid, y'all. But don't, but don't take a listen. Don't laugh at me, though. I do like sharing. <laughs> I know y'all think I mean, but listen. Sharon, <laughs> I love to share, whether it's information. Um, I don't really like sharing my stuff, but information, though, or sharing my opinion, <laughs> sharing space, <laughs> you know, sharing thoughts. I love that shit. <laughs> but you ain't trying to share your food and stuff. <laughs> right, right, right. No, I, mean, I mean, boy, I mean, it, 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 listen, listen. I shared a few. <laughs> huh. What I didn't do is, ma'am, <laughs> is have a baby for him. I didn't take that rubber oh, off. I, I, I knew what it was. I, I never pretended like it was something that was not. I never, I never danced with the devil, and I didn't play with fire. I'm talking about how close you want to get to the heat in the kitchen. You gonna go sleep with a pimp, raw? Like he ain't got other holes to go mm-hmm. be with. Ain't you inconvenient? At nineteen and tw- nineteen and twenty, you want to play SpongeBob Fortnite at ten, eighteen at night? You think that's a good idea? Yeah, you do, but you don't want to eat any ribs. So eating ribs is a bad idea, but playing <laughs> Fortnite is the better one. See why well, you can't let a five-year-old make decisions? You, yes, you see why you can't make decisions? Yeah, I know. All right. Do you understand why you can't make decisions? Yeah, yeah? okay. Uh-huh. Are you looking for me to say yes for you to go to the game? Uh-huh. uh-huh. You're just looking for a yes. You're not, we're not doing comprehension tonight, are we? Now he's staring at me. Go on, boy. Go on. <laughs> Not just trying just to use this lawyer. Okay, so I'm looking at you. Yeah, I'm trying to comprehend it. Is it getting to me going to the game? <laughs> I got you, Num. I got. Listen, I got you. As a yeah, baby, because Mom said you all you are playing with her feelings. She feels some type of way because you got ribs, macaroni and cheese. And you want to tell everybody? It's one thing for you to be over there eating it. It's another thing for you to be over there smacking and saying it's good. But then you told everybody. Oh, you left the ovens in the air fryer. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's cool. I'm cool with that. I still stuck on. <laughs> hold on, I'm finna. I'm, hold on, I'm finna. No, mm, no, mm. what you cook? Mm. Try. Mm, mm, mm. Even the, even the little fat parts is crispy. Oh my god. Mm, mm, mm. So it's crispy. Mm, so mm, it, it's like kind of fried. Like no you fried. Got a crust over the entire. Like it's one thing to have like a crusty side, you know, or edge like a brownie. When the whole thing got crust on it, it cut my mouth up. I don't want no cut up mouth. Oh, well, y'all mind me crazy. I did Warm mine it up. in some egg, and then I dip it in the flour, and then I fry it. And it tastes like fried pork chop. See, normally, when it comes to beef like this, I always like reverse sear it, right? But because I'm doing the air fryer, I can't. <laughs> You see how you just took, you just, uh, you caught on to how to uh, use your air fryer real quick. I still don't, I'm, 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 I'm not, um, air fryer friendly. Chad, uh, YouTube University <laughs> and Minka. Yeah, I remember we were trying to do that and, and it didn't work out. My what you was right. And, and unfortunately. Go, go in there, go in there. So she gonna let me know. This is nasty. <laughs> Oh, what? No, you would not eat no microwave TV dinner. <laughs> no, I'm saying she cooked the microwave TV dinner for dinner. Honey, well, at least you ate. You, you ain't hungry. Lizzie, you're really numb, baby. You need a home-cooked meal from scratch, baby. Oh, from scratch, Lizzie. Lizzie, you, you, what you cook? You, where are you at? <laughs> Lizzie cooking from scratch, y'all. Hold on. Lizzie, what did you cook? Because I, I might need, need it too. Because, baby, honey, I like food. I love food. Food is my love language. Lizzie, is that an. Oh, no. 
<laughs> yeah. What? Oh damn! The baby daddy was in the chat talking about. Can y'all hear me? The baby daddy. If they said the baby daddy was in the chat talking about, ain't no coming back. Oh wow! That shit crazy. Lizzie, this your first. This, this my first time on um, seeing you. Hey, are you serious that you are in Youngstown, Ohio? Or are you trying to be funny, or are you really in Youngstown, Ohio? Lizzie Anderson. Let me see if I can see this picture. I'm from Youngstown, Ohio. Brian. Oh, oh. Jesus. Yeah, I'm from the east side. <laughs> Are you crazy? Hey, Fred. What'd you say? My study Baby, said I used to the air fryer and set it to the side. Me, me too, boss lady. I, and I got two. I thought I needed a bigger one, and it was gonna make me be able to make the stuff like how they were trying to tell us, and it, it didn't work out it that way for me. But but my stove is good. I can make everything on my stove. <laughs> Girl, but the air fryer be so convenient. It and do, it but I feel like but the air, air fryer is better than the microwave when you heat food up. Oh, now I do use we my air fryer stuff. for that. <laughs> like, excuse me. Like if we got some fried chicken or something that's fried left over, the next day when we eat it, I will put it in the air fryer, and then it tastes like it just got cooked. Like it's like just just been cooked. If you put right. it in the air fryer, yeah. But I could just use the air fryer like as a microwave. I can't cook a whole my bad. So. But you know what I don't do though? I don't use all the settings to the air fryer. That's what I, I want to start doing. I mean, because I got a grill on my air fryer. Yeah. See. Uh. -uh. No, I'm not air fryer friendly. I'm um pot and skillet friendly. <laughs> listen, that listen, that's one of the way. Listen, I mm, share. Once you start, I was like that too. But see, I and I also I'm not an air fryer like I'm doing it to, like I still gotta put a little grease in there. I'm still putting a little, like I'm spraying some Pam. Like I still want the crunch. I don't want that dry because sometimes the air fryer be like that dry taste. Mm -hmm. Like it be like weird. Like, wait a minute, it can get dry. Yeah. You put grease in the air fryer. Hell yeah, I put grease, butter, all that. Oh, I ain't know none of that. <laughs> I thought you just because season it, know. put it in there, and turn it off, and then it's gonna be like ready. It <laughs> no, cause not with everything. Cause sometimes, like, like I made some chicken nuggets, or if I make French fries in there, I'm not gonna put them in there dry. I'm gonna sprinkle some. Some I gotta put some oil on there. Really? Because they don't see Hell yeah. the brand of fries like that I fries. like. It tastes like freezer. Mm -mm. See the brand of fries that I I eat. Them motherfuckers is good, but I will only get that brand. Like you, even if even if something else is on sale, that shit just on sale over there. I'm still finna get this tan bag because these hoes cook up proper. But um, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say the best fries that I, the best fries to me is the Walmart brand. Really? You know what? I I that made, that's, that's funny. I made them today. My mother had gave Dylan a bag of Walmart fries and that, the, the waffle fries. <laughs> that thing is Walmart yep, fries. That, yep. <laughs> I'll be having the curly fries, the waffle fries, the crisp fries. <laughs> All the Walmart brands. I get the waffle fries. I get the waffle fries from. Um, I get the waffle fries from. Um, Damn. What is the place called? Sam's Club, but the best fries is the crunchy, crinkly. Is it what's that? Is it Oral Lay or something? Oral Lay in the red, in the in red, red, in the red. See that? Oh, yeah. That's your problem. problem. No, that is not the best fry, ma'am. No, in the, I'm talking about in the air fryer. Like oh, they be like no. in the air fryer, they do. They be like it's like they be airy, like real crispy. Like they come out good without putting doing nothing with them. 
Yeah, see, I think my air fryer is for the use of like uh I got some like if it's some if I don't want to make nothing and she just wants to quick, she could put her some chicken tenders or some french fries in there and then we could do that. But we can't make no raw raw food in there. Ooh, Girl, don't I'll be put I I give me some Lisa sausage, honey, <laughs> patty that shit right on now, put it in there. Bacon, put it in there. I got my turkey oh, sausage. Make some sausage in my, my air fryer, but put it in like a bacon. Um, yeah, I um, I've been using this air fryer for everything. Um, I love it. What kind of air fryer do you got? I got I two cheap it. ones. Oh, let me go see. I got a, I got the, um, I got a wall. Well, I think they both Walmart brands. But you know how Walmart brands have like levels to it. So I have a uh, what's this? You are not gonna tell me your name? Okay, I don't know the name of that one, but the other one is a Farber, a Farberware. It's the one with the uh, you got the this is, you just it's the tray that you pull out with one handle and then it's just like a, a spinning thing. Yeah, it's the it's the one yeah. handle. Yeah. That's the one I got. Look like a big ass black Easter egg. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I got the other big Walmart one, but neither one of them works. I had got the other one because Nick was telling us uh, and saying it, telling us how, how to cook it, but it mm-hmm. didn't work for me. I seen the big boy one. I said, Ooh, <laughs> I, mean, I got to step it up. Chicken I got to step it up. Yes. Chicken sausage is air fryer, too. Yeah. 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 They chicken be- sausage? I never heard of chicken sausage. Hey, Miss Okay. I mean, you I know, mean, just um, sausage, like sausage is good. The, it's, you I, can make quick breakfast, and you know, I throw a, a croissant in a um, in a. Oh yeah. I throw a croissant and a turkey sausage in there. The Jimmy Dean sausage is good in the air fryer. I throw this croissant in the air fryer, in the um, in the uh, Jimmy Dean sausage. Boom, breakfast be fed. You the croissant that you got to roll up yourself, you could put that in the air fryer. No, yes, not no, not that. No, I get the the a big thing of the croissants from um, we almost home. At, okay, yes, because we do um, it. We we make croissants, we make cinnamon rolls. Um, you make oh, but you can in your air fryer. But yeah, you can. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it has I'm a big set. I'm gonna figure it out. You can make biscuits in the air fryer. Everything. Yeah. It's wonderful. Oh. She said I can't eat at work. I get the I you get the itis. <laughs> she said I get sleepy. Wait, I mentioned some deli- oh I seen that one already. Let me look down. Let me see. Wait, y'all, I'm about to hey, I gotta I gotta leave this chat, y'all. Got me want some food. <laughs> so, we so sorry. No, I, I, I'm actually about to, I, y'all. I'm actually about to end this live. I might, if nobody goes live later, y'all, y'all can ride with me. I gotta go to South Carolina, but I need to go home. Wait a minute, you I, coming this way? Wait. Uh, I gotta go to Charleston. So it's when are you leaving? Uh, and like I gotta leave like later, not now, but like it'd be late night. Damn, I was um, past Rock Hill um, earlier. For real? Mm-hmm. Yeah, not, I gotta all go to morning. Charleston. I gotta go to Charleston. It's all but, down in the bare roads. But um, but yeah, I gotta. So I gotta probably like chill, lay down for a bit, cause I gotta get up. Yeah. But um, uh, get you some rest, baby. Oh, don't be in the right. chat, cause uh, I'm gonna see you. You don't know. <laughs> okay, I need to get on. I need to be on the road by like three, so. In the afternoon. Afternoon. Oh, it's time for everybody else to be there. All right. Bye. All right, y'all. I might come back in the middle of the night. <laughs> All right, boo. I'll see y'all later. Talk to y'all on Discord. Okay. <laughs>